Okay. You guys ready to play some more Withering Room? So unfortunately, at the end of last night's stream when my internet cut out, we got to essentially like what the first boss was, the Butcher Surgeon. And I paused to listen to the music because it was really dope. And then my internet cut out and I didn't realize it. And then I beat the boss. And then once I killed him, I realized <laughs> the stream wasn't going anymore. Um, which is super unfortunate. But what are you going to do? So here he is. Here, <laughs> here's this nerd that we just beat the fuck out of. <laughs> um... Now what he gave me, I don't quite remember. We didn't play too much, so we're like, a lot of this stuck in my brain. Uh, but he gave us uh, the Remembrance Tear, a permanent offering. So I think I can permanently do an offering with us. Like, because to do the offerings now, we have to give up certain things to remember items. I think we'll get one one of those for free. And he gave us this, the right idol eye. The right eye to an ancient stone idol. Small glimmering lights can be seen within. Okay. Yeah, the, dude, the music in this game is so fucking good. I don't remember how to play. Why am I ringing these bells? Oh, how do a uh, mini map? Oh, there's a hole in the wall. What's the same in each of the bunker? A pipe. Hmm. Physical. I mean, the poise breaks fine, but my current weapon does bleeding. Right? Isn't that why I brought it? Yeah. Okay. The pipe is better damage. But that bleed, I think the bleed makes it just better still. <clears throat> um, how do I assign you here? Okay. Can I unassign stuff? I can just over, over assign it. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, we're going to have to spend some time remembering how to play. What is it with this? Oh, this might come up on the other side of the piano guy. Okay, we still haven't figured out the deal with the mirrors. Small cursed snuff box. Rather than containing powdered tobacco, it's full of cursed residue. Open to become gradually cursed. One curse damage per second to wear. Lock is broken. Oh, you want to fight? Oh, not one of these. You can't roll away from me. Got a finky. Coins and wax and a finky. All right, cool, awesome. Bing, bing, bong. Oh, okay. So now I have two extra things I can take. Um, I feel like uh, the liver may not be bad. Oh, I should have. Damn, I should have seen what my upgrade cost. My like level upgrade. So I might have needed those fingers. But I can always buy it from the one guy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot I gotta remember about uh, about this game. Okay. So we can keep two things. I mean, I guess my all my coins. I already get to keep ten of them, but... Um... Yeah, remember the lever. <laughs> Spirit twigs. This has gotta be... Yeah, this guy. Hmm. 
I haven't quite figured out his whole ordeal yet. Nah! I think you have to be like somewhat cursed to see him. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, let me go down here. Whoop, okay. Bing. Bing. All right, yeah. It's a little in-boss checkpoint. Okay. So I want to go see what my upgrade cost. It did cost two human fingies. Okay. Did she have the bookshelf? Bells, and I need to make. I need to go to the laboratory. Okay. You've killed the butcher surgeon. That's tremendous news. I'm not one to celebrate the death of a fellow human being, but the butcher wasn't quite human, was he? You should proceed at once to Mostine Mausoleum with that object you found. It must be a, it must be some sort of key. Mausoleum can be found deep in the hedge maze. So in the past, through the maze, it may be invisible to the naked eye. You'll need to be sufficiently cursed to see through the illusions. Um, yeah, I kind of figured we'd go out to the, the east. I have 34 coins. Okay, yeah, I can definitely buy two of those. Yeah, cool. <clears throat> cool, cool, cool. I'm I'm pretty sure I said this last night, but playing this really makes me um want to play through the Castlevanias this year. At some point. <clears throat> so we did act okay. This is what I thought. Once we hit those like upgrade points. We got to level five, then it unlocked new things to level up. Cool. Um, health, curse tolerance, just general tolerances are poise and bleeding. Speed and paralysis. Luck and poison. Oh, okay. Um... I still feel like health and, like, some curse tolerance would probably be the way to go. I'm gonna do curse tolerance and then the next one up. Oh, I need, okay. Two hearts. I need 13 coins. Okay. Interesting. Um, now there was this one thing we didn't get to do. What was the instructions for it? Um, Hedge Maze Shopping List. Okay, we might need, I might need to keep that in mind if we're going through the Hedge Maze next. Yes, this. I still remember the trick. Open and close any door three times, then step through. Okay. Open, close, 
open, close, open. That might have been four times. Oh, no, oh, wrong room. Ow. Ow. I was just cursed. Do I have candles? <laughs> I have one candle. That's not creepy at all. Um, I don't really want to die. Okay. There might be more in there. Yeah, we also have this red door. Oh, is this the other secret passage? Oh, I finally found it. Where does this go to? The knife. Okay. One lever. <laughs> sure. Um, well, I know the hearts are now for an upgrade, so I'll remember those. I feel like I just use the liver, so do I get to keep that as well? In the coffin chamber. Who are you? Mr. Coffins. The filthy wretch. Ah, oh, Nightingale. Excellent timing. This is my associate, Mr. Coffins. His name is improbably perfect, as I have enlisted him to help with this coffin here. Tired of losing all your valuable possessions each night? By having Mr. Coffins lock you in here at night, you'll awake with all your things intact. For a small price for his service, a few coins. I'll find a snack for Mr. Coffins, a corrupted finger or two will do nicely. Price will go up each night until you die. Your Mr. Coffins is not a machine and must be compensated for getting any rest. Not getting any rest. Keep her safe in here, Mr. Coffins. Absolutely no eating the customer. Interesting. So if I just want to start the day over without dying, I can do that. Hmm. Very interesting. We'll find. Yeah, if you die, it restarts the map. Um, that's what the remembrances are. Um, so the red things are permanent items. If they have these like permanent marks on them. Um, but when I was doing those altars. And I could like remember stuff. If I die, I keep those into the next one. And I lose everything else. But that looks a way to keep everything and just re roll. Yeah, so like this. This is um remembered items. So these six things are what I'm gonna keep into the next one. Besides the permanent stuff. Yeah, it's like semi roguelite horror souls like sort of sort of dealio. Is there anything else? He's still like gave me the lantern. Um let's ask about the hedge maze. The Mostine Hedge Maze used to be one of my favorite spots for contemplation. Seems to have been hexed recently, so I simply cannot find a way through anymore. Seeing through such illusions requires one to be significantly cursed, something I personally cannot abide. Whoever is in there does not want visitors. The Mostine Mausoleum sits in the center of the maze. Perhaps whoever Hex the Mage has discovered something there. Hmm, okay. Yeah, this is where we got the shopping list. Spirit twigs, warding candles. I don't actually have warding candles. Uh, there is the merchant. I could go back to... 
I don't really have coins at the moment. That's the problem of my stuff. And I make jars and stuff anyways. Um... I mean, so far I haven't died in this game, so I kind of like want to die and see what happens. So I'm just going to kind of be a little risky. Okay, I can't see that guy yet. I would assume this is the same for the guy playing the piano. Uh, oh shit, he's back. Don't call to come back. I've been here for a day. All right, stable, we'll see. No other. Internet company is just kind of doing whatever the fuck it wants at the moment. I suspect they're just like laying new cable all across the city, so it's just like if they happen to hit the right cable at the right time, it just bumps me offline. Oh, okay, still can't see the guy. Whoa, hello. Oh, it's heal. Corrupted meat. 75 health, but become poisoned. The body bag. <laughs> I cut the bag open, see what was inside, and I'm still not sure. I mean, the thing is, like, my internet's been perfectly fine, like, in terms of speed and stuff. Like, I, I don't have any complaints about it. It just, you know. Uh, even the connection's been stable besides a few times I've had to call them out for like rain damage. It's the wires and connection box. Which is now that they're doing network upgrades, whatever they mean by that. Like. <laughs> Paralyzed. <laughs> I do have to be all the way cursed to see this guy. Have this doll. Curse rot, yeah. Oh no, it's dripping blood and I'm paralyzed. No, I still can't attack him. All right, the curse rod is real. I think I was about to die, so I will just take my items into the next day. Uh, yeah, mainly because I'm using the controller, and anytime I have to use, like, quick thinking on a controller, I just feel pretty clunky. Like, there's just a lot of unnatural stuff. It's like, oh, I want to do this quickly. I have to, like, sit here and actually be a grandpa and look at my fucking controller, you know? <clears throat> Hunter's ring. 20% projectile damage. Ooh. Okay, so all of this stays too. Interesting. All my remembrances. So I thought that would get reset. I mean, 
I don't know, we're just gonna reload everything. Get some more basic kills on stuff. Warning candles. Some coins. Yeah, we need coins. So we can get a level up. That guy kind of scared me. What? I'm getting a little, I'm getting a little careless. Ah. The painting gallery. Have I seen a painting gallery? No, no, this is a new room for me. Interesting. It's a safe room. Oh, wait, no, I have. Yeah, it's the merchant. Uh, I need, ooh. I need to buy a first aid kit. A modern ring featuring a skull etched on the stone. Receive 33% less curse damage. Receive 30% less spell toll. And we can also skip a thing. I need like, I think I need a 15 coins for a level, so I'll buy two first aid kits. Oh, we just got 10 coins. <laughs> Oh, I'm seeing the guy because of the, the warding stuff. Beep, 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 bop. Beep, 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 bop. I also have to find that lady, too, so. Um, cast this, we get our suit of armor. Come on, buddy, be my friend. Yo, good job. A double team. The classic double team. Woo! Alright. Yo, his legs are so crunchy. Ooh, two first aid kids. Awesome. Let's go. Yeah, one of the spells that we can craft, um, the screen one, you can take control of a suit of armor and something else, didn't it say? Oh no, just three suits of armor. Or dolls, yeah, okay. Yeah, so you can have three suits of armor or dolls follow you. Pretty cool. Oh, this is working out really well. <laughs> this is tremendous. And so many items, oh my god. Oh, 
Okay, this guy's here. Hello. Yeah, nothing new. As far as I'm aware, I don't need to get anything from the from the hunter, so we'll leave him be. Okay, this is our starting room. See if any enemies show up. Bing. Nothing suspicious here. Uh, oh, we need 18. Okay, well, we have 18, so sure. And let's get more curse tolerance. 21 trench coins and a liver? Absolutely. Uh, alright. Whew. Holy. <laughs> alright, well we can buy a liver and a finger from the, um, from the hunter, but we need coins for that, and we need 25 coins. Okay. That one's gonna be a little bit... We need to get turbo rich. Ten percent max health and ten percent max curse tolerance. Ooh. Ooh. Um. Yeah, and these did go back down to five. So there is some system in which, like, you can buff these rings. Because last time they were six. The number was yellow. Interesting. Let's take off. Um, this one, Margaret's Ring? Because it's already max health and some bleeding resistance. Well, no, let's get rid of... Hmm. 25 max curse tolerance is more than 10% max. Ew, math. <laughs> um... That is a really nice ring, though. It's kind of weird you can wear four rings. Why is four the number? I mean, usually it's like one or two, but like, you know. <laughs> the case for rings in video games is always like, I have ten fingers and ten toes. Like, <laughs> why can I not wear more rings? Brass telescope with the left hand allows one to see across the room, although the lens is poor quality, so it's difficult to make out distant objects. Interesting. Yeah, this is where the hunter is normally locked up. Nine coins. Ooh. Now oh, I got a warding candle. Car. So we turn the lights back on. <clears throat> it does seem like overall progression for stuff. It 
does stay, which makes sense. Slab. All right. Um, healing tonics. Yeah, I would. I would like as many healing tonics as I can get. And let's get. Uh, Get some poison jars. Yeah, you just find something in the hallway. That's yeah, alright. So is the butcher gonna be in here again? No. Yeah. So he's dead for good. I wasn't really expecting him to respawn, but I could kind of see like big enemies like getting respawned. move <laughs> I actually get stuff from his body when he dies interesting wow that's cool uh, let's use just a scone A nice plain scone. Who the heck? Kerblamo. I can't even kill her. She's just like looting stuff. Um, let me grab this other suit of armor real quick. and see because my webcam was covering it. It looked like a Mr. Bubbles over there. So I want to go back and get this. Uh... Dude. That's so stupid. The guy was nowhere, like, in front of me. Oh, whoops. Uh... God damn it. Not use a controller to save my life. <laughs> nope. Dude, that guy just took a fart everywhere. What the hell? <clears throat> yeah, that's real dumb. I've not used that many fireworks to know exactly how they work, but that should not have worked the way it did. I need 25 or eight. Um, so 
don't remember what things I actually needed to level up. Should have written it down. Oh, I actually got a finger. Okay. I need a liver. Um, so, I'm curious because I have a liver saved in here, which I don't think is really... I don't know if that actually saved anything at all. <laughs> like, do I get a liver back? I do not. Okay. Does a liver cost less than six coins? Probably not. <laughs> Can you buy a liver for six gold? Let's see. A liver is ten. Oh. So I gotta go find four coins and then we can get a level. I feel like in the, um, the first cycle, there are more like basic enemies to fight. You know, I should have gone back to, yeah, I need to go back to the basement. Um, I need to the laboratory. The laboratory. There's gotta be more down here. Dexter's Laboratory. Let's tank it, tank it. Inspect the toilet. Oh. Bandage. Six coins. How many did I say I need it? I got 27. Alright, we can level. Woo! A leveling time! Oh, hey, what's up, lady? Um... Oh, there's a floating book! Face thinking that one. Uh. Woo! <laughs> There's a hole in this mirror. Enter a portal to nowhere. Interesting. Uh, stuff in the background happens when you're cursed. You get curse energy. Um, just makes things spooky. We need one curse sentinel candle and 30 coins. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, so the health bar on the top right, usually 
Well, not usually. When I have cursed stuff on me. Okay, so that only happens if you're cursed. Interesting. Uh, there'll be a little, a little skull thing just below it. A little skull bar. An old wooden shield. Oh, left hand. Got a shield. Ooh. I assume that candle that we need for an upgrade comes from a very specific enemy. At some point. Yeah, I guess they're just like little sisters. They just kind of roam around and harvest the bodies. Weird. Fancy yourself a knight. Whoa. Yeah, you can get so much stuff. Wow. Wowie, wowie, wowie. Why would you not play as a night dude from the Dark Souls? So many coins. Okay. Well, now we can go back to the merchant boy. And buy some stuff. I'm kind of curious about this, like, nowhere thing. Don't I have... Just take curse damage until it shows up. looking sure <laughs> when that part kicks in it makes me think of dire dire docs from um, SM64 Gaze upon yourself. <clears throat> okay. Can you see my stats? Cool. I guess. Change the photograph. Mm. 
Oh, one shrine for another remembrance slot? Hmm. I'll remember one first aid kit, please. <laughs> that seems super useful. Okay, so we need to put up those here. Oh, now you look familiar. No, I suppose not. I haven't had a visitor in a while, and I guess I'm overexcited. My name is Rose. Don't remember much else but my first name, so that will have to do. Don't take this the wrong way. But you seem like the type of girl who carries around a lot of junk she doesn't need. Am I right? I love junk. It's the only thing keeping me sane in this starry purgatory. Well, somewhat sane. Better than Mr. Photographs over there, at least. I've got a heaping amount of coins, so if you have any extra items, I'll happily take them off your hands. Okay, okay. So we can shale some stuff. Cool. I can get rid of. Um, I'm not gonna use that ring. Maybe I should have, but I don't think I'm gonna use it. Okay. I have something for you. Picking the perfect look from a giant pile of outfits and rings takes time. To instantly call your best ensemble, you should write down this fashion record. You said more records, but I've given them all out. Maybe you'll find them. Multiple records mean multiple looks at your fingertips. Whoa. Fashionable young women like us need all the help we can get. So my weapons game is surprisingly harmful? I, you know, I don't care. <laughs> Yo, Mr. Photographs, what's up? What's over here? Oh, nice little waterfall you got there. A new arrival. It has been a while. I'd introduce myself, but I'm afraid I've forgotten who I was. One visitor gave me an honorific Lord Nobody of Nowhere. Oh, so fancy. I quite like that title. I'm afraid to find out who I was before. Perhaps I wasn't a good person. <gasps> Still faintly remember things. Smells, taste, and uncanny sense of having something seen something before. That's why I enjoy photographs. They bring back so many feelings. Have you ever used a camera? It's quite simple, really. You like, I have a bunch of antique camera for sale. Give it to you for free, but I need coins, you see? I cannot leave this place, so I purchase photos from budding photographers such as yourself. Such so will be able to make back the purchase price of the camera in no time, I'm sure. Uh, sure. Permanent tool for five coins. Okay. It's got some... Bible. Slightly increases luck. Plus 50 luck. Be held out to hold spirits at bay or even push them around. Interesting. Receive 25% less bleeding build up. Oh. Max health, max curse tolerance, max bleed. Okay, well, the tolerance is plus 10 coin discovery. So you have two less physical damage. One's. Okay. I mean, that should be better than what I have on now. Permanent heavy. Plus two bleeding buildup. Converts 15% of physical damage to bleed, uh, bleeding buildup for melee attacks. Receive 40% less bleeding buildup. Receive 10% less physical damage. Ooh. That does go with my axe because my axe does do a lot of bleeding damage. Um, that's 35. Oh, these are super expensive. Right, let's buy the camera first. It's a permanent thing. Um, I can't buy both. I mean, this is this one's just a straight upgrade to what I have now. This one, because the weight would be different. 
Minus six speed seems like a lot, but I don't know in uh, actual practicality how much that uh, will change things. I'm just going to go with this one for now and I'll think about the other one. Okay. So yeah, since you have a camera, I've got a favor to ask. My photo collection is sorely lacking photos of supernatural variety. So let me a photo of a spirit and I'll throw in a special extra gift. It normally can only be seen when they're cursed, but you can take a picture of them anytime. Interesting. Come. Whoa, we got a nice new dress on. I kind of figured they're like fast travel points. Whoa. Now that's pretty cool. Surely he's going to want that. <laughs> it's the photograph of all photographs, right? That's what he wants. Let's see. Kind of curious how this all works. Oh, yep. Yeah. I need... Whoop. Um, what was it under? Others. <laughs> so one, I'm curious if this is the spirit that he wanted. Two, I'm curious how much he pays for something like this. seven gold for it. Uh, this photo positively gives me the chills. For your reward, take the Perception Codex so that you see the sea, the sea spirits from further away without being cursed. It also means you need less you need less cursed to come visit me. Okay. That's pretty useful. 200 Perception. You see 50% more curse damage. Interesting. Very interesting. coin for that. <laughs> so I can make this... Oh, if I don't want to sell it to him, I can... Okay. Um... Hmm... Ooh. I want to make some more green. I like green.
So I guess it was sitting in that chair that took away my curse energy. from them. Ring of Perception and Cursed Explorer Ring. Yeah, I don't have either of those. We got the camera and stuff now, though, so that's cool. <sighs> Holy! <laughs> Stop aiming to reload. What do you mean, reload? I didn't know how to reload the camera. Okay. Interesting. Oh, the burning zombie. Cursed on it's forty. Oh, doesn't even show how much health he is. Weird. Got two fingies and some coins. Okay. I can sell these. Opens? Oh, I haven't. Very interesting. Hey, buddy. What's up? Which is the Bible? Eleven. Mm. It cost five to buy a dry plate. <sighs> that kind of just. I got four for that one and five for this one, so I don't know how worthwhile that is. Um. I guess the lantern is really nice for the basement. It's not really. Kinda... Saying maybe I should get rid of my cursed energy, but I don't think that's a worthwhile endeavor. Okay, let me go snag a pseudo armor somewhere. Yeah, the lights are on anyway, so.
it's not a suit of armor. That must be near suit of armor. There's one literally in front of me. So creepy. My suit of armor did nice. It's really slow. Got it. We're spooky. Oh my god. Maybe because now I have a Bible, I can talk to this guy about Bible stuff. Uh, the basement is absolutely boiling with sinful characters. For one, there's the first witch and her initiates. Do not, under any circumstances, be tempted to join her foul coven. I believe the dream is a test from God to see how we might behave given eternal life. Harnessing the power of demons to cast spells does not sound like the sort of activity that would please our Lord and Savior. Secondly, the foul butcher surgeon resides down there. It's pickle. Oh, he's already dead. I've seen him go in and out of the hedge maze several times. He claims to be searching a Mostein mausoleum for corpses. What is his real intention? I don't know, but you should ask him if you see him. Well, I mean, he's dead, so. The dream spirits are tricky fellows to deal with. One cannot even see them unless cursed, and being cursed is a rather unpleasant state to be in. In the real world, I'd rely upon my trusty Bible for protection, but in my dreams, surprisingly, a camera is the best weapon. See, a photograph can capture a person's soul. Well, here in the dream, that seems to be true, at least for these damnable phantoms that flit about. Cameras are rare. I did see a girl about your age with the one the other night, though. She took my picture. Said she was going to sell it to the man in the mirror. Okay. So I might actually want more... <laughs> uh, photographs? I'm about to get a fucking rock concert. So I took a photo of this man, but I don't know if he... 50% less fire damage. Uh, he might not be here anymore. Not here anymore. Where do I go? Oh. Spectral remains offering. Fine phantasmic dust slightly hot to the touch. Uh trust. So it did steal a soul. Interesting. What was the guy playing the piano if I took his soul? Uh, I sold it. Do I need to... Decrucify? Decrucification. Whoa. Just not seeing a path forward here. Unless I just need to hide behind stuff. Whoop. things I want to go check out then. Um, I really have stolen his soul. And the guy playing the piano shouldn't be over here anymore.
Oh no, the big guy's farting. Oh, I just can't go fast enough. My speed's too slow. The iframes, they didn't help. Uh, no, I, I hate controller. <laughs> I could just run through. Um, I want to take this guy down. What does that sound? Dude. What is that sound? I fucking hate whatever that is. Stop with whatever the sound is. Please. <laughs> Please. Okay, blocking fucking sucks. Nah, I just gotta give up on it. Nah, it's... I don't have a hand on the combat good enough for that yet. <laughs> the hell? The hell? I'd like one photograph, please. If he doesn't heal, I can go get some suits of armor. Oh, but you, you must be near a suit of armor. What is this? What is this in the background game, huh? What do you call that?
Same here, so it doesn't read as a suit of armor. Uh, a car. Oh, there's a ghost tent. Actually, there is a ghost, but... I can steal his soul. Get stolen, bitch. The ghost of Icar. Whoa. There's a suspicious line in the wall here. Um, also, one thing I want to do. So I wanted to talk to the, the lady. She had some stuff to talk about that I just didn't do. So all the talking does seem pretty helpful. The curse is a glimpse into the traumatized heart of the dream. With the titan perception, many strange and wonderful truths are revealed. One may even locate gateways between desperate worlds. You might try gazing into a mirror while terribly cursed. It's the only way to meet the man in the mirror. Do you hope you will come to appreciate the mad artistry or whatever celestial entity controls the dream? Careful around the other initiates. Some have lost their minds and some have turned their back on the sororal order. The casting of spells and becoming repeatedly cursed takes a toll on one's sanity. Only the truly strong-willed can ascend the ranks of the order. I recommend strengthening your tolerance to the curse to avoid any issues. I was once a stranger to the dream, like you. My title is accurate. They're learning the occult arts from the filthy wretch. I became the dream's first true witch. I believe I'm still alive in the real world, although it becomes harder and harder to know for sure. It doesn't matter much to me, because I have so much important work to do here. Well, the wretch and I are collaborating on an experiment of sorts. Whoa, collaboration. Through careful application of offerings and blood, permanent changes can be made to the dream. We're still early in our uh, we're still early in our research, but I'll be sure to let you know how we get go on. Okay, yeah, we're still seeing a candle. Alright, so she didn't really provide any. I thought maybe she'd talk about the maze a little bit. Nope. Okay. I love how you must be near a suit of armor, and then there's just like no suits of armor that let you actually use it. Uh. Shadow magic. He's just walking the other way. Awesome. <laughs> what a waste. Shadow magic. Oh, he died. Alright. <laughs> That's actually really fucking strong, apparently. The giant zombie. Corrupted liver, 150 health. Twenty nine coins, whole bunch of stuff. Come, I was hoping maybe he dropped one of the candles. Interesting. Or a key for like the left side here. Cat cam, dog cam, hamster cam. Oh, okay, 
have 74 coins now. Oh, shit. Um, buy another one of those. Hello. I don't remember what you're selling. Ah, puzzle skip. Mm. This does do fire damage, which is kind of cool. Mm. Do you have anything more to talk about here? Art. Moss Dine House used to be so beautiful. The best art was sold to support its brief, unsuccessful stint as a caloria clinic. Remains are mostly recreations commissioned by Alfred Mostein that were deemed unsellable at auction. A soft spot for these recreations. Recreations, I think in some cases they're even more beautiful than the originals. Perhaps I've been living in this recreation too long. Looks rad, yeah, this game's really cool so far. They didn't breeze me. It's a 2D horror roguelite souls-like mash them up, stick them in a stew kind of adventure. I really don't know how to progress the maze. Unless I need to be ultra cursed. Um, do I need spirit twigs? Ah, oh, just run through it. Look at that. What did that do? Let's put me back at the entrance. No! Okay. Hold on. <laughs> oh, can he not come back through? He doesn't... <laughs> he doesn't have the perception rules. What an idiot. Oh, now we're- now we're in the thick of the maze. Oh, is this a- Cool. Cool, 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 cool. He's a maze knight. Oh, lordy. Not that guy. Uh, do I still have- I don't have- Why did I use both of my shadow ball combos? Um, disgusting. Hey, little girl, I'm gonna steal your soul. Whoa! I just got two for one? I think I did. Ghost child, scary little thing. She nearly had me before I placed the warning candle down. Goodbye. Go ahead and go in there. Pumpkin permanent heavy headwear. 25% less poison buildup. 
Interesting. I mean, what does my current helmet do? Three plus uh, melee damage. It doesn't really change much. <laughs> Ooh. Another remembrance? Okay. Sure. Mm. Plus one remembrance slot. What are what are we remembering here? Oh no, the squeaky's back. <clears throat> uh let's remember the Bible, shall we? Let's all just <laughs> the game did not like that. <laughs> this game seems really cool. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Um, I'm definitely happy that my internet has not dropped out tonight, so I can actually continue to play it. Bram, 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 bram. Oh, a mirror. Cool. Ooh. Well, probably means we're going to fight something here. Uh, which if that's the case, let's go back to the man in the mirror. Saw him this painting picture by a couple more first aids. Well, we're going to sit down to remove the curse. So my knight is just about dead. Ooh, who are you? Ah, fresh face. You look about the same age as, as me. Your face still looks intact, though. Does it? I got a pumpkin on my face, so I might explain it. I think my body must be rotting in reality. My face is the first thing to go in the dream. My name's Emma. Not that it matters much. I'll make you a deal. Bring me an enchant spell and I'll help you break into this mausoleum. I like what's inside, trust me. First witch can teach about the enchant spell. Alternatively, there may be a few scrolls. Uh, I already have one. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> I've been thinking. Oh, she's going to use it to attack me. Oh boy. What's in there is probably valuable. Um, oh wait. I think I'll keep it for myself, no hard feelings. Oh no, she's a- she's a witch. I just want to listen to the music for a second. Get paralyzed, bitch. do that much damage. <laughs> Problem is I just want to attack her, but... Oh, I just got my suit. Get 
that blood build up. Oh, she's stun locked. Oh, you're so fucking dead. Woo! Nice. Goat's fashion record. Ooh. Uh -oh. The record's currently empty. No. Or... Human finger. The best students are often those that lose their way the most. 29 coins, a permanent offering, remembrance tear. Tear. Oh, uh, someone should have one of the candles. Oh, you can hide in there. Uh, interesting. Do I hate playing on the controller? <laughs> bag. Night's almost dead again. Okay. The mausoleum. Read Peter Mostein. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anne Mostein. Hmm. Okay. So how to get a sentinel candle. So we need that for upgrading, too. Can I take one of these candles? <laughs> like, so many candles around here. The son, study, the son studied every letter of his family, Latin inscription. Father, two precious children, and his heart. Um, oh, God. I don't want to have to run back and forth. <laughs> no. Okay, that was the whole thing. I'm just going to screenshot this so I can look at this as I go and read the other ones. Two precious children in his heart. Sister, four corners of the world to explore with her family. Mother. Six days a week caring for the rest and one day to honor God. We need letters based on those. Open this in a different... Screen. Oop. I love when I do that. I love when I drag something over a window and Windows is just like, you know what, let's close everything. Is he the father? 1874. I assume he's the father. Yeah. It's gonna be the sister, right? See if it works. 
two theories. Okay. Yeah, I that one's stupid. <laughs> so it's not actually like having to do with the thing it gives you. If you look at the Latin inscription for the different characters, one of the letters is bolded. So in this one, the D's slightly bold it than the rest. That's what you need. Mm. Whoa, the mask man. I can't believe it. You've gotten the eye back. I apologize for the deception of this mask. <gasps> it's Peter Mostein. Whoa. No way. Allow me to properly introduce myself. I'm Peter Mostein. Yes, that is my sarcophagus over there. I am dead in the real world. <gasps> Allow me to explain. My twin sister, Priscilla, and I have been interested in magic since we were children. We always hoped to find a way to contact our dear deceased mother, but nothing worked. Whoa, this is Full Metal Alchemist. It wasn't until 1874 that we finally found real magic. We were invited on a diplomatic trip to visit Constantinople, the ancient city of Byzantine. While my father worked for, to integrate himself with the politicians we had traveled with, Priscilla and I searched for artifacts to purchase. Through many encounters with shady merchants and frauds, we were finally shown this idol with ruby eyes. The price was high, but we were promised miraculous effects when the idol was purchased. The night Priscilla and I awoke in the dream for the first time. You see... This idol is the source of the dream. It recreates anything its ruby eyes see. The idol is a painter of sorts. It tries to portray its subjects accurately, but is prone to extrapolation and flights of fancy. Once its ruby gaze has fallen upon someone, it will incorporate them into the dream. Father had caught a fever shortly after we arrived in Constantinople. Only a few days after purchasing the idol, Priscilla showed symptoms of the fever as well. Within a fortnight, they were both dead. No. My grief, as you can imagine, was boundless. But to my utter astonishment, Priscilla was still alive in my dream. The dream. The idol did not know of her death. I returned home to the Mostein house with the bodies in the idol. As I showed the idol more of the house and life, the dream grew grander. I was able to convince the idol that magic exists with some simple parlor tricks and pyrotechnics. In the dream, my sister and I slowly created a paradise. Of course, even with magic in the dream, we were never able to meet Mother. The idol had never seen her. So you, uh, as you have seen, Dr. Blackett and his henchmen have turned the dream into a nightmare. It's time to end the dream by destroying the idol's representation of itself in the dream. Thank you for returning the eye. I'm too weak to have done it myself. Now let me prepare the destruction spell. <gasps> no, not the filthy wretch. Oh! Oh, Peter. You finally let down your guard for a moment. You've been quite a naughty boy, haven't you? Excellent work, Mr. Wretch. That's what they called him in high school. Peter, my old friend, how far have you fallen? I tried to help you. Why would you try to destroy the dream? Collect the ashes for the er erasure ritual? Peter shall cause us no more trouble. Take the girl to the observatory. I have other matters to attend to. Whoa! No. Uh. Chapter 2 Mostein House, 1892 In a dream, Nightingale is taken to the observatory in the attic Eventually, the wretched sleep spell begins to wane She awakens to find a letter at the foot of her bed Alright, you know, we made it through chapter 1 without a single death I'm pretty happy <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself, I'm gonna, I'm gonna admit Some close calls, but... Oh boy. Nottingale, I'm terribly sorry for the frightful events you bore witness to. Peter was a sick man. The fucking music's so good. Determined to destroy, every, destroy the dream, even if it meant forever snuffing out its inhabitants. I understand you must be alarmed and confused. It would not surprise me if you think me a monster. 
I must assure you these are slanderous falsehoods, that no harm shall come to you in my dream. In the dream. I'm afraid I have a pressing but uh, <laughs> I have pressing buttons, pressing business to attend to. Please remain safely in the observatory until I return, and I will explain everything. Your friend, Dr. Robert Blackett. Wow. Last night's counts. Far fewer visible stars in real Earth. Okay. So we need five over, three down. But it's backwards. One, four, five. <gasps> the large cursed snuff box. Whoa. Okay. And a sickle. Shoosh. Poison buildup. A uh, mirror shield. Whoa, Zelda. sort of thing. Interesting. Do I have... Got one painting left. Organ grease. Yeah, I was having a lot of internet issues yesterday, fortunately. Uh, I definitely want some purple. We only got one blue wax, though. That's really a really good spell against big enemies. It's locked. Wow. Go visit the man in the mirror. Oh, things have changed. Oh, Emma's here. Let's go talk to Emma first. Hello. Well, isn't this awkward? I know you're probably not too pleased to see me, but unlikely as it may sound, we're on the same side. You see, me and the butcher surgeon had an uneasy alliance. Ooh. Sorry to tell you about the butcher surgeon. He didn't make it. He would guard the eye and I would guard the idol. Peter Mostein wanted to destroy the dream. Robert Blackett wants to turn the dream into his plaything. Not a fan of either outcome, so I worked with the butcher to keep the idol out of their hands. I was convinced you were one of Robert's lackeys, and can you blame me? You did everything they asked, whether you knew it or not. But now that you've been locked up in the observatory, I can see you're not aligned with them, at least not yet. As a gesture of good faith, here's the key to your prison. Now that Robert has full control of the idol again, we're in tremendous danger. We need to find out what he's planning. Two places that might have the answer, Robert's room and the entrance hall. I've been to the wrong room? Uh, yeah. You just open and close, yep. Mm -hmm. It's a spell my friend Millie came up with. The spell creates a false version of a room in the mansion. We used to pull great pranks on the initiates by luring them into it. Last prank we uh, pulled his Pointing the wrong room at the entrance hall during the initiation ceremony. Okay. Not long after, I saw a million in the hallway, but she was a ghost. The wrong room, as you can see for yourself, has become a cursed place. It means the entrance hall must be a cursed place, too. What happened in there? A million told other people are now ghosts, and I know Robert had something to do with it. The first witch has something to do with it as well. I overheard her talking about creating a binding spell for something in the entrance hall. Dallas should be, keep something as valuable on her person, so we have to defeat her to get her hands on it. Your hands on it. Robert's room is along the upper hallway. Search his room thoroughly. I know he's hiding something. 
Be careful, though. It's a lot of initiates about. They, like the first witch, have hardened their bodies against the effects of being cursed. Keep your eye out for the initiates a grim war. There's loads of spell on it that will do direct physical damage instead of curse damage. But the first witch has one hidden in her bedroom. Oh, I can buy stuff from her. Ooh. Crescent ring, 20% spell damage. See if they're percent less spell toll. Oh, okay, okay. I might want to buy some. Okay, I have 102 coins. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, he's just selling the same stuff. Um, let's buy a couple of these. Actually, pretty nice. Uh, okay. Oh. I didn't even think about like being able to go back to previous areas. Okay. <laughs> the eye is glowing. Thurible. Sensor attached to a chain dating roughly from the 13th century. Hold LT to raise increasing poison recovery and blocking any poison damage from attacks. that but it's not worth it okay oh shit you know what because there's two of them it might be worth it kerblam oh my god what's that eyeball oh <laughs> what that's terrifying the double What's going on with the <laughs> giant person outside? Cage goal. So these are not the ones I saw before. Okay, I thought they were. That's so why I thought they'd be a little bit easier to kill. Ow. Saw it way too late. That's not terrifying at all. <laughs> oh boy. I've devised the most clever contraption to keep a father from stooping. It requires two people, one to turn the crank and one to grab what's inside, so it's absolutely perfect for us. I've hidden our cult books there, the ones father keeps trying to throw out. Who says a girl can't show an interest in machines? Father is so insufferable sometimes. I think I'll construct a few more of these just to spite them. Your loving sister, Priscilla. I'm waiting for this thing to get up. Oh, hello. This guy's got a shotgun. Ghoul. Whoa. 
The flesh ring. Oh boy, that's. <laughs> For all heads, when curseness is above 70%, receive less physical and less fire damage. Okay. Oh, secret passage. Where's this go? Oh, doggy. Okay, so is the, the hunter in here? <laughs> Yeah, he is in here. Oh, man with the hat on. Okay, he cannot fetch me the other upgrade stuff I need. Yeah, who are you? Ah, you remind me of my daughter. I'm Jeremiah Fink. Wait, no. Wrong game. I do maintenance for the asylum, so I know these grounds better than anybody. I live in one of the cottages in the, vill in the valley, but the dream takes me back here each night. What a funny little slice of how we found ourselves in. Say, so, I'm sure you could use a few things that I found. An old mansion like this is just a riddle of discard valuables. I can spare a few coins, I can spare a few, some of these treasures. Sure. Increases the number of coins found by 30%. Alright, some. That's plus 1% for every 5 points a wielder's curseness to projectile attacks. Oh, okay. If you're on projectiles, that seems really good. Wait, his only cost four? Buy one of those. Um, buy a couple med kits. Bing, bing, bong. Oh, she's looking through the house. <gasps> she was the one on the outside. Becca Mason. Oh, you seem familiar. Things have been a bit hazy. I'm Becca. Nice to meet you. Or, re-meet you. Seen this dollhouse? It may sound a bit childish, but I find it fascinating. If you look close enough, you can see little creatures moving about inside. Isn't the dream just grand? You can do anything here. Say, so you look like you use some training. I'm the very first person besides the first witch to be named a fully qualified witch trainer. If you need to make an offering, just let me know. Oh, okay, okay. So you can do offerings here. Yeah, I don't know where a cursed sentinel candle comes from, so. Um, if you want to become a witch trainer, it's quite simple. You just have to be the best. Well, the best besides the first witch, that is. A lot of people think Millie is the best witch, but she's not an official trainer now, is she? Millie would never have put up with learning the offerings anyway. She was too unorthodox a thinker. Oh, silly me, speaking of her in the past tense, it's just nobody has seen her. Do let her know she's always welcome to come get some training if you do see her. Safe room twig tool. Uh, turn the current room into a safe room for 30 seconds. Okay, interesting. Oh, another bathroom. Not the painting. Possessed painting. Mm. Okay. Just five coins. Nothing crazy. Combo, combo wombo. Nice. The upper initiate. Okay, coin, some wax, some fingies. Where 
Really gotta figure out where to get this uh this candle at. Oh, hello. What, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell was that? Bone ash crafting lab. An incendiary jar. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> I can't open it from that sign. Whoop. Oh, he's a big boy. Um. You know what they say, the bigger they are, the more they bleed. Oh god. Oh, he's got a gun. Oh, he went through instantly. Uh-oh. To get out of here. Oh my god, this is so bad. <laughs> Safe room. <laughs> Safe room for 30 seconds. The big wretch. Okay. Got some coins, some phalangers. Oh my god, there's three witches. I should not have set that clock. Possession book spell. The initiate book will become possessed and follow the caster from room to room, firing bolts of cursed energies at foe. Okay, interesting. We got a different version of the the other one. A lot of, lot of money, a lot of coin. Ah, uh, upgrade stuff. Oh, this is Robert Blackett's room. Okay. From evidence found in the Byzantine labyrinth beneath the Mostine House, we can conclude that the idol was created or discovered in prehistory. The shaman of some nameless ancient tribe would gaze into the idol's eyes each new moon and be taken into the dream. What he saw there was likely quite a crude rendering of reality. As the idol had witnessed little at that point. As was tradition for ancient man, blood sacrifices of animals or, more rarely, humans would be given to this idol. It's likely these original violent gifts are why blood, hold, blood holds such incredible power in the dream. You know what? I do hold such incredible power, you're right. Uh, 
Oh my god, the... <laughs> the randomness. Also, I think my book's gone. My book's not showing up lately. But I didn't, like, really fight anything. I don't know why it's not. That'd be a time thing. The Holy Pentagram Amulet. Converts 30% of physical damage received to curse damage. Receive 30% less spell toll. And 50% or er, plus 50 enter light. Interesting. Okay, I'm making more spells. Ooh, I can make eight. Okay, I don't need eight. Let's make like four of these. I'll make four shadow balls. <clears throat> and four of these. Come on, grab a knight. Okay. Oh, it's a mimic. I just want to put the Bible back on, I think, for a little bit. Not that I'm really using it. Falling in the foreground. Bloody thread permanent upgrade. Thin metal wire treated with a mixture of blood and organs in the right hands can be weaved in the fabric or soldered on the armor to increase its physical resistance. Oh, clothing upgrade. Samantha, I waited for assistance in my room for nearly a full hour tonight. If you don't show up tomorrow, I'll simply enchant the doll to assist me, and you will be dismissed from your duties. Don't disappoint me again, your friend Robert. Okay. Oh. oh, that's not what I... I... I cannot play on a controller. What? Him to do this? 
Last eight seconds, heals four health per second. Okay. Um. I don't like the candle. Weird. Oh, big boy. Locked it. coming out of nowhere. No, not this sound again. Dude, I fucking hate the sound. I love the, the music in this game and the audio, but this sound is horrible. Please make it stop. Please make it stop. Flight Codex. Permanent artifact. Describes the method of running faster by harnessing the trace amounts of cursed energy that permeate the environment. Interesting. Wait, can we please let this go away? Oh my god. Crystal is Yeah. I really need to run faster, so. Are you doing, Nithel? fashion record. The extra spells if I, <laughs> if I go down. Use the corrupted meat, sure. Then I can throw on the poison thing, right? Oh, there's these guys. Okay. Um
Oh, there's a whole room of them. Woo! The gold bear ring. When health is below 25%, melee damage and projectile damage goes way up. Interesting. Okay. That one's actually somewhat useful. That one's pretty cool. The onyx pentagram. 20% max curse tolerance, 25% spell damage. Converts 25% of curse damage to physical damage for spell attacks. Interesting. I'll wear that one, sure. Ah, spooky! What? How'd that hit? So it won't let me go through. Uh, I also don't have healing. Oh god, I'm so dead. He's, he's too fast. All right, first death. First actual death. No. Yeah, I, just, I could never find the, the thing to upgrade to help out, you know? All right. Well, we lost a bunch of stuff, but we got to keep a whole bunch of other stuff, so. No. So the map resets and everything. All right, I'm going to get some water, though. I need some water, and that's a perfect time to do that before we go searching again. We got some stuff to figure out about chapter two. Oh, my character even sat down. How cute. How adorably cute. Stella, howdy. Ah, right. let's go uh, re-explore. Yeah, well, now we have way less to live because stairwell, stairwell spell key. Permanent key removes the illusory wooden planks blocking access between the upper and the ground floor. Oh. Noise. Remove the illusion. So I can go back down. That's great. The ground floor has a lot of really basic stuff you can grab. Rogue's Ring, 30% damage to melee attacks from behind. Ooh. Okay, and that stuff, if I find the altar, it keeps that forever? Interesting. Okay, I thought you'd have to, like, re-remember stuff every single night. On the cleaver again. Okay. 
Who are you? Hello there. You're the one who cleared that surgeon out of here, aren't you? My sincere thanks. I arrived on the train just a few nights ago. Oh, shit. I'm glad it's a water bottle, not an actual cup. <laughs> my water went everywhere. I only find my usual haunt occupied by that brute. The name is Tomas. Just a humble merchant trying to make my way through the dream. So thank you. I'll show you some items you won't find anywhere else. I see you found some bloody thread. I have some skill with needle and thread. If you have an outfit you'd like me to strengthen, the service is free of charge. Such rare, beautiful thread is a true pleasure to work with. Okay, let's see. Lantern familiar. Looks one curse damage to wear every three seconds. Oh, so you can buy familiars, you can buy armor. A lot of money. Coin discovery, max health, French pen, top hat. Alice dress. <gasps> I need it. <laughs> oh my god. Gentleman's suit. Health vampirism added to melee. Oh, I need it. I need 50 coins. I need it so bad. I love vampirism. <laughs> uh, upon reaching zero health, restores 50% health. Brooch breaks. Interesting. But it's permanent. So it's probably like one time per life kind of thing. That's 75 coins. Oh, we need some coins. Front door key. Oh. Yeah, we gotta find this organ grease stuff. Okay. Car, car. Magic ball. First aid. I don't have a candle. <laughs> Thank you for the candle. Still very low on health, though. Oh, God. a curse sentinel candle interesting curse ball spell okay problem is I don't think I have the other stuff to actually get the upgrade or was it just the, the curse sentinel oh, I might have just been the, the candle the upgrade before was the one that took all the different stuff. Okay. So we sh what? Do I have the gold for it?
that, but then you get poisoned. It's fine, right? I think. was where is that this should be where the first witch is wait no I have to can I just talk to the lady right there and yeah, she does upgrades right If you're on who does upgrades now, <laughs> uh, still a storage room. What does he have this time? Poise charm, five percent poise. 10% max health, 100% luck increase. Ooh. Oh, I want another level first before anything. Oh, this lady. She does upgrades, right? Aha! Yes. Okay. So level 10 gets us an upgrade. I mean, it gets us, you know, level 10, but it also gets us a reward, I think. Let's see. Oh, more health. Well done, Initiate. Soon you shall eclipse even my power. This is all I can teach you at the moment, but let me leave you with a final gift. The Initiate dress marks you as one of us. The other, the other Initiates will pay you proper respect. As you've reached the rank of Initiate, I've taught you all I know. Ooh, permanent light outfit. Spell damage goes up. Receive more curse damage. And I get a hat. Wow. Fine. She said that's all I can teach you for now. But maybe, can I see what the next upgrade is? Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. Damn. Pumpkin hat? But the pumpkin hat's not good. It's not even good, man. That's the guy that killed me before. Whoop. See ya. Let me back to the basement. I want to loot some more. Yeah, 
Now I just need to run around enough to like recollect enough supplies to actually be confident and stuff again. Laboratory. Whoa. Yeah, I really just want to, like, get as much healing as I can. I guess now I have coins, I can buy stuff from the, um, the one guy that showed up in the butcher's place. Less poison buildup. Okay. The iframes only count like after you start rolling, not when you start it. No, that's so dumb. It takes you all the way across the map, huh? What is happening? Oh, because I clicked on a door as it was going. Um. <laughs> Kind of a weird bug, but I'll take it. Never saw what this room was. Blammo. Get scared. Another one. Ooh. Uh, is 45 enough for any of the stuff the guy had? I know this stuff is kind of pricey. I feel like the clothing I wanted was like 50 something. nice some enemies will leave me alone if I said I want them to. There's like an extra door in here. At least on the mini-map there is. Maybe I need to be cursed or something to see it. Oh no, it's, it's the door over here. It's 
weirdly placed. Yes, okay. Want to make more of these. Okay, I'm also realizing the, the ball spell is not as good as I thought it was. It's actually the Harvest Field spell that's like really good. It's the one I like more. So we're gonna open this up now. Cool. This goes back to the attic. Okay. Getting a sense of the layout here. Yep. That goes to those guys that I don't want to deal with. <laughs> Seven more coins. Uh, how many does it put me up to? 52. 52 might be enough. Should really go to the first floor. Wait, is this the basement? Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. you doing in the painting gallery? Got him. Oh, who are you? I came because the firework went off. You must got like really laggy there for a second. the body of that. Red life ring. Max health, max bleed tolerance. Ooh. Dying on the 
this game, it is a little bit brutal. So far, I've only died the one time, so it's not been too big of a deal. Hello. Ow, right to the face. So you just didn't care. Oh, she cares now. Did she come out the door? Fifty five coins. Oh my god. Shoosh. Oh, okay, I didn't mean to kill that Lee. <laughs> Ow. Not curse rot. Definitely need to go back to the the merchant guy. Permanent medium outfit, the elegant dress. Ooh. Very ooh. Ooh la la. to take off this ring and I want to put on this one instead. Let's make some more spells. Still have some greens, don't I? Got two. Let's make one more. Anybody in the bathroom? Any poopers? Anybody a pooping? No poopers. There might have been people in here that came when we shot the firework. this guy. Oh, I'll eat racked in the thumb rounds. The cloaked ghoul. Yeah, I don't like this guy. Blammo, have your souls stolen. Bet you feel real silly now. Not the fart attack. Wow. Spooky. Looks like he better still be here. I would like to buy 
Your gentleman's suit, please. Uh, um, ooh, you know I could buy the second chance brooch as well. Ooh. Do I want a headpiece? Curse tolerance, max health, coin discovery, poison, so cool. There's poison build up. I don't know, but I definitely want the, want that on. Can I upgrade it? Woo! Ding! Thank you. This plus 30% damage to melee attacks from behind would be really nice. I just don't really. I, mean, I can give up 10 max health. But do I want to? Spell damage and less physical. Less poison build up. Melee damage and less physical. Let's go with that. <laughs> We look ridiculous, but... Oh, I see. I see what the whole point of that thing is. Ah, uh, she. I uh, she, I uh, she, I uh, she. Okay, we need to find a mirror. Let's go sell these paintings. Pictures. Buy two more of those back. Um, less bleeding build up. Spirit dust bag. Seven curse damage to caster. Small pencils in the cast are flying backwards, inflicting a light spell. To, okay. Let's see. Um. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -bum -bum. so fancy. Yeah, saving consumables probably doesn't do anything. Uh, let's get the melee ring on. I get this is theme that I'm currently using. Woo! 
dodge that just in time. The name is Justin. Just in time. Squeak. Nice. The enchant spell. Whoa. I've never heard of that before. What does that do? Hello. And healing item, 100 health. Shush. All right, that's a new one. Um, we can stop bleeding. Quick cup of tea. Quick cuppa. Oh, yeah, I already searched this Oh, that's because I need one of these. Whoa. That's a really cool effect. Just realized I should probably reload that. Oh, hey, what's up, buddy? Bunch of, a whole bunch of stuff. And he killed my knight. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I've already been in this room. Uh, can I craft? Get some cake. Oh, well, she said she can't teach me anything else, but yeah. Boo. Uh, what else did you have? All right. Um, buy a couple first aid kits. Buy a safe room twig, sure. Thank you. 
Yeah, I was a little worried about that. Does that work on this thing? I think it does. Burning Protection Book. Mm. For eight seconds, 50% physical damage reduction, 100% fire damage reduction. Okay. Five damage on touch. Okay, it's pretty cool. What game does this game familiar seem? What? I don't know. <laughs> it's a question you'd have to answer for yourself, but it's a 2D horror, roguelike, souls like kind of dealio, so. Still haven't figured out how this is supposed to work. I need him to turn this for me. Or to grab the thing for me. He just won't. Alright, buddy, go grab the thing. Why why he no do the thing? Oh, I can go in here now. Let's go get some curse. Oh. In honor of Priscilla Mostein, mechanical genius, please set the combination of the organ safe to the last three digits of her birth year. Okay, so Priscilla's birth year? Our organ operations will not be possible without her research. Though she has been missing from the dream for many years, we must not forget her contributions. I mean, we've already, like, seen her birth here, I'm pretty sure. So, in theory, I should know what it is. Oh. Finally, some relief. The shift has gone on ages. I know the first witch is busy, but this is ridiculous. I've been here three nights. Since it's your first shift, let me give you some tips. When someone brings in some organs, help them use the furnace to create organ grease. Oh. Next, have them step into the chamber. They just need to pour the proper amount of organ grease in and deposit some coins. The chamber is truly a mechanical wonder. It takes care of everything after that. Once they have the strength in their body in the chamber, ask them to collect more organs. And give them the offering list chamber if they need any help. Oh, okay, so this is how we're going to level up from now on. Someone should be able to relieve you eventually, I'm sure. Don't leave or the first witch will be very cross. Okay, I mean... I have six hearts, so let's do this one first. I that just... Cool. Alright, so what else do we unlock down here? We have violence, so melee damage. Dexterity for projectile and move. <laughs> uh, weirdness for more spell damage and less spell toll. Uh, I still, I mean, I, in typical souls like fashion, I feel like damage would come from weapons and finding new weapons, although we've not seen a better weapon for some time. So this would be great. Getting health up still would be pretty nice. Uh, it looks like I could probably get a couple levels out of this. 
put at least one. To that. We need two organ grease, okay. Oh, I can... Okay. I thought these were like a one-time use sort of thing. up a little bit more. So with spell damage, like the the knights and stuff that I keep animating, they have higher stats as well if you get spell damage up, I'm pretty sure. That's what I remember it saying. And it's less of a toll. That wouldn't be the worst. It'd be pretty decent. I do more melee damage than anything. Alright, we need four grease. We can definitely make. I get 150 health, and I'll worry about some damage. And then we need five grease. Uh, we also need two things of grease for another remembrance, so we should do that. Turn this. I need him. Okay. Didn't quite do anything for me. Like I need him to do this, right? Like, yeah, can you turn? <laughs> Y'all are turn. I was wondering if I go back out, can I go deep into the hedge maze? I should be able to get her birth here from here. Uh, not hers. Okay, this one needs a candle. Gotta remember that. Okay. Write that down in my We find another one of those enemies to get a, another candle. Okay. Priscilla's birth year. Oh, this guy's over here. What a pity. Peter was a good man. I've known him since his family moved here. That cursed sheet wearing agent of hell has put him to rest permanently. God truly does test his disciples vigorously, doesn't he? The idol has gone missing. So is Robert Blackett has moved it somewhere secret. Say, you seem better equipped than I do. Than I to do battle with the band of devil dogs. Let's help each other out. 
I'm gonna need some organ grease to preserve my decaying mortal form, just long enough to put up a good fight. Turn, I'll give you my most valuable belongings. Um, it's card. Permanent key. A well-worn card with engraving of Jesus Christ. Has no use, but is very precious to the Vicar of St. Eli's. Where he can get his helmet. When it when a game lets you buy something that says has no use, it usually has a use. <laughs> to some degree. There's some secret or it like affects a boss in a certain way. Right. Oh shit. Who the heck? They found me. Ah. No. Dude, the combos on these guys is crazy. Still have another. Uh, I can use that. Try it out. Whoa! The Mud Man. Whoa. Some phalangers. Cool. I mean, now that I know, like, killing anything gets me organs, and I can use organs for. The organ grease to level up currently. It's pretty nice. Yeah, the multiple attack was the, the bigger problem. You, you can dodge range. You, know, you can, can roll out of it and stuff. Oh, I need to go back to... Oh, well. Let's open up the safe. The advanced lab manual contains recipes for incendiary jar, curse jar, and the elixir jar. Erasure ritual. Instructions for permanently erasing a troublesome foe from the dream must be used of care as the valuable organs and other resources that the foe carries cannot be obtained. Oh. Room free of enemies. Two vials of organ grease, one warding candle. Oh. Interesting. Ancient Blood Permanent Offering 3. Gold cup filled with thick vis viscous red fluid. Um, drunk by the ancient undead inhabitants of the dream to imbue them with strength, toxic to the living, but through careful processing its power can be harnessed safely. Can I turn it into grease? Yeah, five of them. I need four. Oh, I need a five. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd rather have a level than another remembrance, so. That's just good. One more thing of health. Chamber is not powerful enough to harden your body further. Yeah, I kind of figured they'd also cap out there. 
So anytime you get like someone to level up your stuff, it's just like a multiple of five. So. Okay. Fuck you, painting. <laughs> Piece of shit. Can't open from that side, really. Let's look at this point, is there anything I want to remember? <laughs> I'll remember these rations that I will definitely have next time around. It's American. Marco fuck you. Can I rift? Oh, it still takes ancient blood. Well, the elixir jar does. Looks there's 100 health, 10 poise for 30 seconds, 15% physical damage reduction for 30 seconds, and heals poison status effects. Okay. It's kind of cracked. Spectral remains makes curse jar. Cinderary jar. Bone ash and empty jar. 35 fire damage. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. That's terrifying. Oh, it's the first first witch lady. Oh, Nightingale, whatever you're doing out of the, what are, whatever are you doing out of the observatory? I know it must be boring. I promise as soon as Dr. Blackett's complete his business, he will explain everything. You've done phenomenally well here in the dream. Be such a shame for things to start going poorly now, wouldn't it? So please turn around and head back to the observatory like a good girl. Since you seem unable to follow such a simple command, I'll have to return you to the observatory myself. Curse rod. Oh god. go so hard. <laughs> Mists, because of course they would. Try this. Try this. Stay 
She's bleeding. Oh, on a poison break. Oh, you dead, lady. <laughs> Let's go. Woo. Entrance hall, binding spell, permanent key. Removes the protective barrier around the fireplace in the entrance hall. Spider's fashion record. Organ Reese. Ooh. Okay, okay. The first witch. 400 health. Nice. Come, quick little tea bag. Oh. Sweet. Uh, I do want to put down another candle. <sighs> Problems, I don't even know where the instant hall is. <laughs> I don't even know where that is. Guess we can look at the map. Fireplace in the entrance hall. Yeah, I just don't know where the entrance hall is. It's just to the right of the east stairwell. slot I mean yeah I, I just I honestly do not have have enough stuff to go on there is there anything else I want to buy let me see oh the front door key oh organ grease I need one more organ grease for that oh I forgot that's what that took. <laughs> I kind of forgot that's what that took. Uh, just when you're at the altar. But it doesn't matter which altar you go to. Yeah, I have 141 coins. I need to... Basham stiff. What are you buying? Did I see this one before? Heals one point out of cursedness every two seconds. Doesn't seem super useful, but I don't even know if I had seen that one before. Yeah, 
I'm just gonna go back to a game that some people here might remember, but when we pl played through Tales of Iron, the rat game, the rat souls-like game, this is the kind of system it needed to get around the map. It needed this sort of, like, fast travel, right? It's exactly what Tales of Iron should have done. So imagine if I want to like get up to the organ processing part to go get an organ thing and I have to run all the way up there to do it. Well, to check if I can do it and then do it, then run all the way back down, like... That would fucking blow. Alright, cool. Um, the headpieces. And full almost, uh, full, most undead and thing to wear is one of them. Uh, if I want to sneak by. Mm hmm. Less physical. Five percent max health is not bad. I have 150, so it'd be seven seven point five health extra. Yeah, I mean. The difference between 150 and 157 health is not crazy. So let's keep it on. Alright, where am I going? We now have two things for the entrance hall. We now have to find the entrance hall. <laughs> now I forgot I can pay this guy for... Yeah, it's just that. Just... So maybe you'd give me um, the candle stuff too. Cause I still need a candle for something. Oh, for the mausoleum remembrance. Yeah, I literally have it in my notes. So I, I could theoretically buy the stuff from him and then go turn it into organ grease if I need it to. I don't think I really have too many uses of organ grease at the moment. Kind of bought the stuff that needed it. Um. But I gotta keep that in mind. What do you have for sale? It's been an honor to work on such a beautiful house. My father and uncle helped build it 30 years ago. Alfred Meisten hired almost every builder in the area along with many artisans from the continent. This is a bit different in a dream, though. The layout is all wrong and keeps switching around. The house did have one secret passage put into Alfred Mossan's request, but there are far more in the dream. There's an extra red door in the basement with a missing handle. They called the other day about a draft coming from the fireplace in the entrance hall. When I investigated, the draft was coming from below. There isn't supposed to be anything under the entrance hall. Try not to be too curious. It's a roll, but I like to know where it's down there. Oh, interesting. The attic has been no end of trouble for me. The roof springs leaks on a monthly basis, which leads to soft wood and mold up there. In the dream, of course, it's become a far worse place. Strangely, there's a locked door up there with my maintenance key set won't unlock. My best guess is it's Robert Blackett's private lab directly above his bedroom. I wonder what he's getting up to in there. If you had asked me a few years ago whether I'd be comfortable being around a bunch of witches, I would have said no. But they're not so bad, once you get past the whole crushing of organs and ingesting them bit. I've been particularly impressed by the young Millie Erdwood. Stanley good at her craft and quite handy as well. The other witches are always going on about her latest innovation for spying or blowing things to bits. I wonder what happened to her. Nobody's seen her the past few nights. Okay. I mean, yeah, the dialogue talking to NPCs does seem to give, like, some hints of what to do, so I might as well. It's a perfect little wooden model of Mostyn House. I love peeking into the attic windows. The first witch has forbidden us from going up there. Says it's dangerous. Has she seen the shambling horrors on this floor? I think she doesn't want us uh, poking around in Robert Blackett's business. 
He's a strange one, isn't he? Do you really think he just scra scraped his head on something? He was doing a bit of brain surgery on himself, but I'm a good girl, so I won't be going up to the attic. I have my own theory about this curse business. You know how the things you see when you're cursed are a bit creepy? Mm-hmm, I do, I do. But just a bit. I mean, they're not that scary. It really were the work of a demon or some sort of entity, like the first witch says, wouldn't it be a lot scarier? I mean, sure, there's floating pools of blood and all that. But we make powder out of organs for our witch training, don't we? I'm just certain there's a much more pedestrian explanation of the curse. I think it's when the dream just gets all jumbled up and confused. Different objects from different times and places, that sort of thing. Do me a favor though, don't tell the first witch I said any of this. Well, she's dead, so... First witch is a dead. Uh, okay. Will this guy grab it for me? Yeah, we must- we must need someone or something else. We gotta progress somehow. Oh, hello. Oh, you're almost dead. I'm gonna kill you. Like this game saw something during beta? Yeah, I didn't realize it like had like an early access beta thing for a while. Um, Cause I didn't know anything about the game until just like last week when I started seeing some people play it. Three different gems, whoa. Less bleeding build up, curse damage fire, okay. Less stuff there. Swift ring, five speed. Yeah, I must have fought him a long time ago because I haven't been in this section for a while. Oh, more permanent. Okay. So I gotta carry more gold into the next one with me? Cool, I didn't think these would- you'd get more than one. Nice. Shield ring. Doubles the durability of shields when worn. Oh. Pentagram of Flesh, Poison Resistance, plus Speed, Cures Poison Status Effect once every minute. It's not bad, it's pretty good. So you have 100% less Paralysis buildup. 3 speed, yo Bifrost, what's up? Can I see a... Um, can I see a dummy standing somewhere? Yeah. Your soul is mine. Can't open from this side. Interesting. Probably don't want to be here. Yeah, I can just go around. Yeah, I mean, they do different attacks, so I imagine there's some other differences. Um, okay. Hey, you would imagine the entrance hall's on the ground floor, right? I mentioned like the 
thing in the basement, like the red key door? Rear house entrance, so it's the other way. Also, he's attacking somebody? Oh. Also, I need to go craft spells. See in the background before that's you can actually like see the top of the maze. I mean it's not the a path through, but I just didn't even register that's like actually what that was back there. It's the labyrinth. Yeah, it's pretty neat. It's pretty pretty cool. Yes, I would like to make five of those, seven of those, I can make more. Let's make six there, okay. Yeah. I like that. There's a banquet hall. Where's the entrance hall? I didn't even search that body before. This? No? Really? You have stuff to talk about? Okay, he <laughs> doesn't want to talk. You know what? Fine, I understand. Uh, let me go check out this red room again. Oh, I didn't search this before. There's like two things to do and I don't know how to progress either of them. Right. There's find the entrance hall, which I don't know where it is. Or I need to get the stuff from the different rooms, but you need like a separate person and using the armor enchant spell doesn't seem to work. Like I need to be able to do this and get on there. No, I've tried the armor stuff and it just doesn't doesn't do anything. Like they just run back and forth. It's like I need a second person, like an actual NPC of some sort. That's why I assumed we needed to get to the entrance hall so we could progress that way and maybe it'd give us like another person, but I 
Also, I love this. Must be near a suit of armor. <laughs> that suit of armor doesn't count. Um, especially we killed her and we got more stuff for the entrance hall. I really thought that's our, our next thing to go to, but... I'm also assuming this game will let you progress no matter what, so it's like I don't have to restart the night after I've done something. <clears throat> For like an NPC to spawn. I know the guy in like the basement didn't show up until I had died and things got reset. But I don't think that's like actually something needed for progression necessarily. He did sell me the key, though. Um, I hope that's not the case. Hope it's not a case of, like, actually needing to... ...reset the dream to progress. And I don't think it's going through the maze again. Am I dumb? I can't read anything. Entrance hall. Do any of these say entrance hall? Basement hallway, ground floor hallway. You would think the entrance hall is on the ground floor. And this is the rear entrance, so you would think this is the opening, but that doesn't open. <laughs> that door is locked, despite having keys. Um, so I also mentioned the red room door, which is here, and it was like above it, so... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Well, oh, spooky. Yeah, do any of these have a fireplace? I know these are like all different types of rooms, bedrooms, bathrooms kind of stuff, but... We do need to put out a fireplace so if we can find a fireplace maybe. That's somehow the entrance hall? I don't know. The library... Oop. What is this room called? It's just like the training room, right? The wretch's room. Is there anything else in here besides this guy? And hide... yeah. say anything on them? Entrance hall binding spell. Remove the protective barrier around the fireplace and the entrance hall. After you've subdued it with the spell, give Robert the entrance hall key so he can stash it away. Give Robert the entrance hall key. See, I think we need Robert. Seems like we're gonna... Key to the front door in the entrance hall, slightly bloody with a repugnant odor. Let us hide the instruments so that only the chosen disciple of the Night Mother will find them. Uh, okay, there... There was another... Where's up here? Uh, there. There was another message about the lab in the attic. 
So maybe we go back up to the attic. All right, I'm gonna get rid of my curse. Let's go on the soy. How many healing things do I have? Oh, yeah, I got plenty. Okay. I'm also not asking where the fireplace is. So, you know. To this. I don't really need the lantern here. Oh, I'm missing some loot in here. Oh, yeah. Cool. Just finally realized that's what the question mark on our room meant. Yeah, it's gonna be this thing that I need. If I ever want to know something, I will directly ask chat, or I will just go and look it up myself. I open from the side. working out because they're all in my spell, so they're just all giving me health constantly. They're fantastic. Like a, I have just like a little scone, a little scone. Okay. Oh, so that is is. Like a laboratory door, but it doesn't open there, huh? Uh, I wasn't planning on using this here, but sure. Oh my god. Seen that again. No. Oh, okay. Hmm. 
No, I need... Blink scrolls. I guess I could buy them. I doubt they're expensive, right? These guys sell blink scrolls, right? Right, buddy? No. Uh, I'll buy a medkit. I have 240 gold, dear god. <laughs> hey, blink scrolls. Alright. Give me... Give me, like, ten of these. These things are super cheap. Damn. You know what? Give me that. Give me that cake too. Give me that. Give me that cake. Yeah, I'm realizing how much I love that spell. Mm, I am quite lost. Sir. Okay, well, we explored the attic. Um, trying to remember who told me about where to find the stuff in their rooms. It might have been just like a random note. So what are my current quests? Map question mark. Find out why there's a question mark below the entrance hall on the Mostyn's house map. I don't even know where the entrance hall is. What do you mean? <laughs> there's a question mark below the... What do you mean? <laughs> below the entrance hall on the Mostyn map. Is there like a bigger map I can see? Uh, Explorer Robert Black Blackett's room to find a key to the entrance hall. Find an initiate grimoire in the first witch's bedroom. Find a way into the entrance hall and use the binding spell. Okay. Okay, so this, uh, okay, that tells me where that is. Blues. Oh. Hallway Banquet Hall. Yeah, so it is. It's that door that's locked, but I have the key. Can I talk to Millie? I swear the, I mean. I feel like this stuff's done. Oh yeah, it's like super early on stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, that's literally where it wants me to go. It's here. <laughs> That's the entrance hall. Is there a fire in here? Robert Blackett's room to find the end. Okay, let's go back up the, let's, let's go to Robert's room. Find the key. So that, that would be my guess. Even though I have a key for the entrance hall, that's probably like the opening of the entrance hall and not getting into the entrance hall. Um. So let's start there. So Emma was the one that told me about the stuff. Can't remember who did it. Do 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 do. All right. See the thing with him is I need yeah this wheel thing.
There's a little goose down here. <laughs> goose champ. Well, I'm gonna talk to Emma again if I can. Maybe I misread what she wants me to do here. Robert's room. Robert's room is along the upper hallway. You should search his room thoroughly. I know he's hiding something. Careful though, there's a lot of initiates about. They, like the first witch, have hardened their bodies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep your eye for the initiates Grimroar. There's loads of spells in there that do direct physical damage instead of curse damage. But the first witch has one hidden in her bedroom. I've been to the wrong room. Okay, maybe I need to go in there. I've been in there once before, but I didn't explore the whole thing because I didn't have the candles for it. Mm. Okay. Maybe Millie's our answer. Uh, you know what? I think I... Might understand it now. Okay. So gotta open this three times. One. Two. Three. So now Robert's room is the wrong room? So I thought maybe we could transform Robert's room into the black room with a Millie. And then she would pull the thing for us. The contingent ring. of all the bodies come down. It's like, I know what it needs to be done, but I don't know how to do it. It's behind this thing. Yeah, I can go find another knight to bring up here, but I really don't think that's going to do anything. I've tried it before and it didn't do anything. Same for this. I mean, there's quite a few of these around, but... 
That's the fireplace? It is a fireplace. See, Robert Black Blackett's room doesn't have a question mark for searching. Whereas this one does? Is there something I can loot that I... Besides that thing over there. Yeah, that's a there's something I didn't loot it. That means there's just some let's something left to be looted. That's all it means. I don't think it means a quest related, I think it just means like there's a box you didn't search. This is also why I don't think it has to do with like the knights and stuff. Because one, they assume that you're going to have a curse or the spell to use, and then you got to find an actual suit of armor to use. I really hope it's not the case. Thought I have to like send it into the next day and reroll the entire place. I don't I don't think it would be that, but I'm like a little worried. Uh is there a suit of armor or a friend around at all? Did I use them all? There's probably one in the maze. Actually, the night head should mean there's one in here, right? Can I use you? Okay, let's find out. Oh. Oh, shit, I got me a goth GF. Holy shit. Holy. Well, let's see if she... Can you grab that for me? Yeah, like... Oh, she'll turn it. Alright, fuck this game. <laughs> Converts 50% of cursed damage received to physical damage. Do I need her specifically? Ugh. for me. Thank you. Uh, fireball book. Ooh. Okay. Let's go get the one from Robert's room. I think that's the only three. Goodbye, my love. Oh, she came with me. Awesome. Oh, no, no. <laughs> no. What do I need? Two organ grease? Okay. I might have enough for that. Celestial music. Okay. Uh, so it's five down. Got it. Ooh, I like this one to go back here. The entrance all key. Whoa. Can I have him? I want him in two. <laughs> and luckily everything's already cleared out, so. It's 
pretty free fun adventure. Six, two, and five. Um, oh, I have so many corrupted fingers. All right, yeah, that's it. To grease there. Yeah, there is. There's. It just tells you how many are over. Nothing too important. Cool. And we'll remember. I don't even know at this point. <laughs> Stuff I'm already remembering like doesn't really matter. Um, got some of those, I guess. <laughs> As it. Hidden compartment beneath the key bed opens. The door handle. Oh shit! To the red door. I have done as you asked. The holes in my head have been drilled precisely, yet I still cannot hear you. Is there some adjustment that must be made to your transmitter? I am ready to receive your commands, my dearest. In the meanwhile, I have loaded the idol into the passageway beneath the entrance hall, as you requested. I'm sure it has already started its journey to you. Interesting. Very interesting. I, I, I kind of want to get to the basement before we go. To the entrance hall. Sit down for a second. The secret red door. Ooh. The labyrinth entrance. Oh shit, there's gonna be a minotaur down here. Cowboy hat. 10% health vampirism added to melee attacks. Oh shit. Oh shit, our vampirism build gets stronger. Possession book, yeah. And summon spears, nah. Horus Field's really good, I really like that one. Yep. That's what our armor has on it, uh, currently. It's got, uh, 10% health vampirism on melee attacks. And our hat now has an added 10% health vampirism. Oh, we got more organ jars. Oh, I was not expecting someone. Nobody has been down to check on our progress in ages. I am Josette, leader of the expedition to into the ancient labyrinth. I'm afraid things haven't been going so well lately. I have fallen ill from breathing the vapors present in the bottom floor. As such, I'm unable to keep the filthy wretches automatons going and progress, progress has stopped. I'm sure I'll be feeling better soon. Robert or the first witch have a problem with our progress, I must insist they visit themselves. 
In the meanwhile, I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. Um, let's ask about the labyrinth. While I'm personally down here for the fascinating archaeological opportunities, my primary role is to see what resources can be found that would benefit the initiative. As you know, we witches rely on a steady seam of organs. There's a rich variety of horrible undead creatures for harvesting. Rarely you may find some ancient blood. We recently figured out how to safely process it in order to strengthen the highest level members of our coven. Okay, so now we're gonna need ancient blood to level. Glad I didn't spend any of it. Once I'm feeling better, I plan to find a more consistent way to get ancient blood. Come. Okay. Let's ask about, oh, I guess we asked about the expedition. You are currently in the great ruins of the ancient Byzantine palace. You see, when Peter Mostein brought the idol back from Constantinople, I don't think the idol ever caught on that it had been moved, perhaps because the eyes covered, uh, its eyes were covered during the journey. It's a young witch named Millie who discovered this place. She was fooling around in the basement and managed to teleport herself down here. A lot of digging and some organ grease in the walls to keep them from returning to the original form, we managed to create a stairwell so we could explore properly. Clearly, we're not the first inhabitants of the dream, nor likely the last. I believe this was originally a sort of playground for royalty, which cages for prisoners, arenas, and many of the undead seem to have been trained combatants. Do be careful down there. Let's ask about her. I think I was always a bit too clever for my own good. I absolutely adored history in school. Thought of it just going off to marry someone immediately did not appeal to me. I begged my father to let me attend one of the new colleges that admit women. When he refused, I misbehaved, and that's why I was sent to Mostein Asylum. But it's worked out quite beautifully, hasn't it? There are loads of history books in the study, and even better. A living slice of history beneath our feet. Sometimes the... Circadius route to your goal is the quickest. Circuitous. <gasps> now let's get some more melee damage. Melee damage also now heals me, so. Yeah, I figured out what it meant <laughs> after reading it, but I just I didn't. wasn't familiar with the word to begin with. It's the roundabout way, this you know, circular way. Oh, ha! Must have nodded off, my apologies. It's been so long since we've had a visitor from above. Welcome to our humble camp. I'm Albert, guard of Mostein House. Or at least I used to be. You must have met my brother, Dafted, upstairs. He's the groundskeep. Usually wears yellow. I think I killed him. Um, how's my brother? He's a zombie. Yep. Oh. Suppose it was inevitable. Poor soul. Were I not keeping watch over Josette, perhaps I would go up and slay him myself. Anyway, to happier topics. Beyond this room lies an ancient Byzantine temple, chock full of traps and a leathery old undead. You'll need to keep your wits about you. There are wonderful treasures to be found. For example, I found this beautiful suit of armor hidden away in a chest. If you need any survival tips, I'm your man. Additionally, I have a small set of supplies which I can provide at a cost. You may be particularly interested in the portable crafting kit. Ooh, I'd offer to come with you, but my duty lies here. One more thing. That chamber over there opens or operates on ancient blood. Here's an offering list for what it requires. Okay. Ooh, it's only 75 and it's permanent. Very statue left hand. Three curse damage to cast your spell toll. When raised, briefly turns the holder into an invulnerable statue. Additionally, any melee attack receives attacker receives significant significant poise damage from striking such a hard surface. Interesting. Let's buy the let's buy the crafting kit. That's pretty cool. Pretty pog. Um, do I really need anything else at the moment? Get this. I probably want to go to the entrance hall before I go this way. It seems like this is progression. to go into my inventory to use this.
Okay, yeah. Could use it like that. Okay. Uh, so I should assign that shortcut. Let's put it over the doll because I don't use the doll at all. Like maybe if I'd stuck it on a mouse and keyboard and like had things bound properly, I would definitely like swap stuff faster and maybe make use of that, but um rocking controller. In the heat of battle, I just kinda forget to swap and just try to get stuff done. Oh, okay, we're gonna have a fight. Expecting the lock in front of it. Root binding spell. Oh! You're something to look at. Oh, it's Millie! Yeah, she does not do any damage. Our wife who did not uh, help. I can't see anything. No, oh my god. I hate playing on controller. She's not gone? Why are you not gone? I get the free revive, right? The half. Wait, do I not have that on? Or did that already pop? I thought I got a free. Let's find the brooch. Oh, I didn't have it equipped. Oh, that's fine. I just start here, so. Okay. <laughs> I didn't realize I didn't have the brooch on. Okay, it, it, I was wondering if this was the case, and thank god it's one of those games that actually gives you all of the stuff you used during that fight back. No, no. Is there another statue? Because she doesn't actually do any damage. Hey. Let's see what we got over here. Yes. I can just leave. Fuck you, I'm leaving. <laughs> Come back. Father, Dafted's mind is literally decaying, but he can still be of use. To keep him from wandering the grounds, I've locked the gatehouse door. I nailed the stair key to his back, because you need it, you'll have to be sneaky. Okay, yeah, this is the this is where I actually started. This is like the prologue. The tap hat. Whoa. 
Want to go fight this guy? Just the basic controls are fucking me over. <laughs> like, I know exactly what I want to do, but, like, my hands are not doing it. I think there's another statue over here. Wasn't there one, like, right here? Uh, oh, it might be in the basement. Okay. Um, um, let's go back. Just going back. I thought there was one in here. If you're not gonna attack, get out of the way. Like, oh, it's so annoying. That's- <laughs> I really don't like that about this game. fireworks for some reason he's not attacking also yeah my knight just like instantly despawns or something Body just fucking dipped. buttons <sighs> plan worked out a lot better that time around <laughs> Yo, we got a Curse Sentinel candle. Okay. Cool, cool. Yeah, my knight just completely dipped. <laughs> he just got like smacked like as soon as the fight started or something. Or he got locked out. 
No, he got locked out, apparently. <laughs> what? How? <laughs> How does that happen? Silver ring. Just all the supplies you could want, apparently. 1892. Four. I don't know if it's going to be important, but I'm going to write it down. 1892. Four. And get on the train. Cable car station. What? Uh, I'm gonna go check out the gatehouse then. Quest update it. What did it update to? Okay, yeah, it wants us to go underneath there. You okay, buddy? You okay, buddy? Sore back off. Completely understandable. Not the body bag. a different one this is like this is an area from the prologue of the game that we're just making our way back to this would have been a puzzle I solved yesterday trash Crouching on a controller fucking sucks. Get me out of here. Ah! Dear God. No. Okay. Oh, and I fucking. Oh my God. I hate. I hate controllers. This was a bad idea. I should have played on mouse and key. Should have forced it. I thought this area was going to be as weak as it was before. I don't know why I got so strong. So what's, what's, what's the deal with that doing damage? Six dry plates? Wow. Uh, did I solve that one yesterday? I 
I did, I don't remember it. Reveal yourself to us in the infinite geometry of mirrors and lenses. Kicking my ass. Problem is, I don't have any curse rot stuff, so. Probably don't want to be here. Ooh! Alright, that was worth it. See ya. Yeah, I need to, I need to go visit a merchant. <clears throat> can't use the mirror out here? Really? I feel like the mirror is going to take me where I need to go for that one. The lock's broken. No. What was that? What was what? Oh, that's a permanent item? Oh, uh, it's coin purse. So every time you get one of these, you save an additional 10 strange coins if you have to restart, but, you know, I'm not really dying, so. It's nice to have if I do die, but. We ultimately just shouldn't die. I need to go. We need to do a couple things here. Where is. Ooh. way possible through here. Um, <laughs> right, before I do that, let me buy some stuff if possible. So I guess so. Uh, she was the one telling me about Emma stuff before, so. Oh, I thought maybe there'd be new dialogue there. I need to go. Back into the mausoleum. Another candle. Oh, and we got a remembrance tier as well. Okay. I mean... <laughs> what do I even save at this point? Base game chat order? Yeah. It's, I mean, it goes with all the, the theme stuff. <sighs> Unified the, the theme across the channel recently. By recently, I mean yesterday. Hopefully the alerts will get there in time, but with how stream elements is, it takes forever to... Oh, that sound is awful. Uh, I'm gonna mute this game. <laughs> Let's see. Can run through it, I guess. People are not here at the start. So, when the game's not running, we got, we got this fancy little background, right? Kind of goes with the whole whole dealio. Wow. Starting screen. We got our webcam theme. What? Yeah, the game one, obviously, we were just on. A little watch party stuff. We got our ending. We also have another 
transition that's instead of going to gray it goes to orange and then does that but i gotta set up obs to randomize which of the stingers it does so um i guess i can show what the alerts should look like in the future let's see i, I set up one of them but uh we'll do trusts from before so they should look something like that but <clears throat> I have to take the time to go through each and every alert and variation and fix the animation timing and text positioning and volume settings. And there's no way to like easy copy and paste that kind of stuff. So that'll take some time. My idea is to do like one of those alerts a day. If I can. It's kind of, and it also syncs up to the, um, the panels down below the stream. They're kind of in the same theme as well. Just make it look, you know, a little nicer. I like the stuff we had before, but it was just like a mix of different ideas, right? Because so we had like the Prey Moon Crash transitions for a lot of stuff. And then we had, uh, the different backgrounds and whatnot. Just something a little bit more in the theme of, you know, a name like Blood Thunder should be. Some red spookiness, some red awesomeness. Let's go back here. Let's rest so we get rid of corruption stuff. Yo, Blair with the gifted sub. Shoosh. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, old. Yeah. <laughs> I switched them back. The, the only one that's set up is like new, new subs. So I just rocking the old ones for now. <gasps> the old notifications. Oh my god. Because I, like, when my stream died yesterday, that's what I went and tried to start doing. And I got one of them down the way I like it, right? Because it took that long to figure out how the, the fade end time should go with the music. And the text positioning and whatnot. And then I spent forever trying to find a way to copy and paste those settings onto other alerts. And there's just not a way to do it. <laughs> um... It's not like it must be perfect, it's like it actually needs to work. <laughs> Otherwise you get text here, and then the alert's like over here on the side, and they're different timings, and yeah, it's just like... It's not, it's not set up. Um, I already forgot what I was doing. Right, we went bot stuff, we got the remembrance. So we can go to, let's go check out underneath. Um, uh, okay, that's not, let's see. I guess that's the closest one. I kind of figured we'd be getting into chapter three at some point soon. Like we've killed two or three quote unquote bosses. Now we have like two new ways to go. I mean, taking the cable car seems like it would take us to uh, a new chapter. So like what I want to go and do the other labyrinth right now. Am I going to miss out by not doing that? This will end chapter two. All right. <laughs> Look at that. I 
It's like I've played video games before. Oh my god. Oh, well, I want to go check out this other labyrinth then. Especially if that's how we can get like some level ups and stuff. Uh, where even was that? Well, I have a, I have a mirror to it, so. Problem is I don't have the corruption for a mirror. Chambers. Whoop. What? Strip poisoned out of nowhere. Get him. Get him. Get him. And I'm bleeding. Right, stop the bleeding. Stop the poison. And we'll eat us going. And we'll eat two scones. Oh, I got stabbed. I'll drink a cup of tea. No, I already did stuff with the stars and mirrors. Holy fuck! Oh, bad idea. Woo! Oh, I hate controllers! This is so bad. This is so bad. This is so my god. <laughs> Through the entire game. Just the wax out of nowhere. Okay, I've gotten a lot of his health to off. Bleed build. Got him. Suck it. Woo. Two elixir jars. We got some stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> that was terrifying. Holy. Other controls? Um, not great. I mean, pretty much what you would imagine from a game like this. I feel like if I was either more used to using a controller or I was using mouse and key, I'd probably be doing better. Nope. 
So a lot of what happens is like a panic in the moment because you just have this giant guardian on top of you. And so my brain's just like, oh yeah, just, you know, try to do this thing and then my hands misclick. Oh, I don't want to be- no, I ain't doing this. I don't even loot this guy. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's like maybe I can just get in and get that chest and get out. No. the real form. Boop. You can either dodge roll or you can backstep. Or use a twig and run past it, I guess. Some more jars. At the very end of chapter two. Well, I had one death. Might be looking at a second. Ow. Ow. The, I can't see that stuff in the wall at all. Don't use the firework. I still have to have like no cooldown. It fucking sucks. Oh my god, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. I really don't want to be here right now. Oh, fuck me. No, I'm, I'm fine leaving the labyrinth. <laughs> uh, I'm fine. Let's go to, let's go to the next chapter. Uh, um... A scone. A little scone for whittle old me. I sure hope this is not a auto scrolling where I have to fight. <laughs> oh! Margaret Blackett. Sorry to sneak up on you again, Nottingale. I followed you down the fireplace. 
Couldn't have helped at all. You've stumbled upon something even I didn't have an answer for. Where does the cable car lead? Who built it? I think my father was down here earlier. He must know. I'm sure you think he's an evil man. I must admit. The music's kicking in. I didn't think he was capable of just erasing Peter. But you have to understand the intentions are good even if his methods are questionable. I'm certain there's a good reason for all of this. When we get him to the other side, please do not interfere. Let me talk some sense into him. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and heal out of... <laughs> I thought the chapter would end and it would give me a full heal, but I'm not gonna risk it. Happy New Year 1916. <gasps> Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> I love just dying the fire immediately. <laughs> Happy New Year. Woo. Chapter Trace. Mostine House 1916. In a dream. Nadia awakens in a strange infirmary. Appears to be 24 years in the future. The sound of a distant bell awakes her. Do I get 24 years stronger? <laughs> nah, the British one. Look at that butt, though. Oh, this guy's sleeping. Uh, okay. That doesn't count that as an actual death. $25,000 $25, in women's wartime fund. Whoa. <gasps> Don't do it. Hold it right there. Are you still human? Oh, thank God. I thought you were another one of those girls from the basement. You must be a new nurse. My name is Mary. I was as surprised as you when I first arrived. I'm sorry to tell you, but you've come to a terrible place tonight. A nightmare. You've been trapped in a sort of communal hallucination. We'll talk more. I'm afraid you must go see the king. It's very cross if new arrivals don't present themselves promptly. The king is not a man to be trifled with. Take this nurse's uniform and make sure you wear it before you sing the king. You don't have to be sneaky. Can't have a gun like mine until you get a firearm license from the king. What? King's door is easy spot. It's the only one painted gold. Now go and be careful. Okay. So I just put that on before. Look through a gold door. A firearm license. Wow. You know, I was gonna say there's nothing scarier in this game. Like, there could be no scary thing, but the British is pretty scary, you know? Pretty, pretty, pretty spooky, man. This game about, um, if you've seen the movie Sucker Punch, it's like that, but a 2D horror souls like roguelike game. Five corrupted fingies. Uh, is this going to me? No. Another human. How unfortunate for you to have wound up here. The name's Edgar. Still mostly human and mostly alive despite the best efforts of the dream. And the war. The wretch king has authorized me to make a protect uh, make a living protecting the inhabitants of the dream that are useful to him. Once you talk to the king and get a firearm license, come see me. Okay. I wanna oh, holy. Holy. Hold on. Ooh. You guys can't come in here. There's a protection order in place. Okay, I lo I, I'm not liking this double team. <laughs> Soldier Zombie. Wow, what a what a unique and clever name. Ow.
I love the multi-hit. Psych. They're actually not doing a lot of damage. Legless zombie. Legless zombo phalantent. Insurrection. Well, poor guy. Now I see it. What? <laughs> that wheelchair. Shotgun shells, okay. Oh, there's no picture. Oh, he's okay, he's gone now, though. Cool. <clears throat> Not all the stars in Dream Sky, blah, 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 blah. Flavor text. Flavor lore. Spectacle. Oh, okay. We got uh, another permanent upgrade thing. Cool. It's for our clothing. Which I would like to upgrade the clothing I have on. What? Really? Okay. That looks like a gold door. That's got to be the king, right? That looks- that looks pretty gold. Metal shield. new stuff popping up. I do kind of wonder if you, if I had like cleared out the labyrinth, if I had managed to actually do that, how much stronger I would be compared to these guys already. I would have gotten a couple more levels out of it. Oh, that's not what I want to do. I want to put down a candle. Whoop. What's up, Phoenix? Spooky, spooky door. Fuck your knife. Gunpowder. All right, it's really pushing this whole gun concept currently. When Christmas, uh, I think I already have that one. I've seen it before. Uh, there is no safe spot. So if you die, it's... It's not Souls-like in terms of, like, saving and going on. Um, it's if you... It's like a roguelike. So if you die, you restart the day, and the room, the map, shuffles around. Uh, if you see the stuff with, like, the red on it, those are things I've chosen to remember, so I'll keep those until the next one. The red circles mean they're permanent. Things that I get to keep making it harder? No. They're not. Yeah, I mean, it's not like a- it's not a direct Souls game, it's just got some Souls mechanics in it. It's a 
half souls, half rogue, half horror, half who knows what else. Another nurse. I'm brackish. Master of all things mechanical and a very good friend to have in a dream. It's important to be well armed. There's many dangerous characters about. Afraid you don't need a firearm license. Okay, yeah. I just gotta go see the king. Full time streamer? No, Twitch is not making it harder. Life in general is making it harder. <laughs> I got a training room over here. craft anything yet. Just in case it wants me to start crafting bullets. <clears throat> the hell is that? <laughs> okay, we got another mirror. Could dispel that? I don't want to, because that would seemingly be a big fight. And there's not also a um, candle out here. Put on uh, ch -ch 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 nurse uniform and the nurse hat. Every nurse carries around an axe, right? Curse word ring, a car. Oh, is the filthy wretch the king? The wretch king. Another nurse. The meat grinder must be operating at full speed now. Every week, more of these dreadful half-dead men are shipped here. Crawling all about, stinking of decay, but not for much longer. Have you heard of Dr. Robert Blackett? I suppose not. The youth of today have no appreciation for history. Dr. Blackett used to be the caretaker of this building and its inhabitants. You'll be pleased to know he's not forgotten about us. Off beyond the church to the east, he is constructing a paradise for us all to live in. Ah, listen, you can hear the bells now, how sweet they sound. So paradise is ready, he has appointed me to watch over this rotting house. I'm sure we'll be good friends, you and I. I won't ask you to do anything humiliating like bend the knee or swear an oath of fealty. But I do need you to prove where your loyalties lie. I'd like you to clean up some of the trash in the hallway. Bring me three corrupted fingers. That we can talk about your place in the dream. Uh, sure. Oh, good. Now. I'd like you to eat the fingers. Oh, it's Jujutsu Kaisen. I hereby grant you a firearm license. They did that once before. <laughs> I think the wretch the first time around said that. They get the rackish in the workshop and he'll give you a gun. I have a job for one, so you're properly armed, okay? Oh, rackish. Oh, Mr. Rackish. One gun, please. Give you a Webley MK6. Modified to have a bit less recoil, which would be perfect for someone like yourself. Hold six bolts, each one is deadly and loud, so be careful. In training room beyond the painting, feel free to practice in there. No. Find any broken guns and need to upgrade or more ammunition, come see me. Okay, so we can make nail traps, paralysis traps, grenades, shotgun shells. I have 18 shots. Interesting. Do 
Let's put this um here, I guess. I'm gonna talk to the other guy. That um it's all about the firearm license. I don't I don't want do this. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna go test it. I only test my stuff in battle. Did any experienced soldier will join you for a price. I get half of any gold coins you find. I carry three first aid kits and plenty of ammo so I won't be dying on top too quickly. Arch King magically bound me to the mansion ground so I can't follow you beyond the boundary of the... Uh... Sure. Come on, buddy. Ow. Are you familiar with witches? They may not have long crooked hag noses like in the stories, but they are every bit as dangerous and devious as their fictional representation. A foul witch has taken residence in my basement. Every time I send my big wretches down there, they don't return. So I'd like you to deliver this eviction letter. It's not a normal eviction letter, however. It should be vaporized to ash when she opens it. Needless to say, it's imperative that you do not open the letter yourself. Turn me off of ashes and I will reward you well. Granting you this basic wretch pass to reach the basement. Alright. I look like fucking Carl from Walking Dead. Carl! Now, is that an item I have to use, or is that just a key item? I think it's a key item. Ow. Dispel. Dispel. Let's go to nowhere. Ooh, it's upgraded. It's getting super fancy. Oh, I got one of these in here now. Ooh. Oh, the coffin guy moved. Mr. Coffins. No, I don't want to. Oh, who are you? Good evening, ma'am. You travel lightly. These are dangerous times. Surely you're going to need some additional weapons or restorations. I am Gromeo, merchant of nowhere. From the everyday necessities to the rare, mysterious, and beautiful, Gromeo has you covered. Additionally, if you have something like to sell, Grammy has plenty of gold on hands. Haas item right now is the organ chamber upgrade. Hmm. Cursed balance ring. One below 70% cursedness, receive 50% more curse damage. One you're above it, you receive less. Max, 20% max health, 40% bleeding resistance. I use it to harden their body an additional five times. I mean, yeah. That's pretty good. Huzzah! Look at that dance. Woo! He's shaking it. Oh, the, okay. They even put this here. Interesting. Strain. Oh, my God. We need so much organ grease. Holy. Holy moly. It's six. Woo. I 
can get two upgrades. What do I get now, though? Oh, shit. I missed my arm armrest. It moved. So if I get spell damage up, that would be pretty nice because I do use the healing spell quite a bit. And it also applies to um, the suits of armor. Having higher curse tolerance wouldn't be the worst thing either, because that kind of becomes a problem half the time. And trying to get rid of curse when you're in the middle of a boss fight kind of sucks. Um, hmm. They're all so good and you get so little upgrades. <laughs> Um, um, I'm gonna get two spell upgrades here. Yeah, yeah we're gonna do a lot of fighting for more upgrades now. Actually. We may not have to. Depending on if we can find the Huntsman again. Um, this stuff is pretty cheap. From the Huntsman. Um, like 10 gold or something like 15 gold for like a liver. Well, that's if we can find him. I don't know if he's going to be in Chapter 3 or not. I'll also go upstairs. No, get the fuck out of here. Only two kids left. Oh, he did. Is they able to run away? not active in the room anymore. Oh, game, please. Executioner Wretch. Yeah, running into him just randomly fucking sucks and ripped that one guy I was bringing with me. <laughs> he did not last very long. Nightmare Mother's Doll. Permanent left hand. Uh, while Squeeze blocks 90% of all damage from all sides, causes 20 curse damage per second to user. Interesting. Yeah, he died. Immediately. <laughs> He got caught in the fire and had no way out. I wish I could take his gun. Blam, 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 blam. 
blimp 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 Weapon upgrade kit. Oh. percent more spell toll, 30% more spell damage. Two corrupted livers? No. Oh! Don't tell me I just killed both of them. This guy doesn't drop a lot of stuff, which is cool. Oh, I didn't loot. Oh, I didn't loot the. Yeah, he killed both armor guys immediately. Damn. Oh. Some more to loot. It's not more to loot. Let's make three of those real quick. Oh boy. A little boss battle. Oh, Night Mother, protect us from the meek. From the meek are prone to constructing elaborate fantasies. They will wall themselves off from her eternal gaze, let their blood flow into the pit of the labyrinth. All that procced inst- oh. Put candles on this. Oh, I like I can't use a spell when I'm fucking curse rot, like that blows. Oh, 
weapons always in curse rot when I'm fighting. Now I'm poisoned, fuck me. Give me all the stupid status elements, god damn. And I'm fucking curse rotted again, ugh. Yeah, like... Serious combat in this game... <laughs> ...is ridiculous. It's like, oh, dude, you wanna get poisoned and... Curse rotted and fucked in the ass constantly at all times of the day. I bet you do. I mean, I'm probably fighting this way too early, but still, like, just on principle. <laughs> also, did she heal? Oh, she sent another one. He's out. Okay, that's cool. Just want to pop down my magic spell. Turn. Oh my god. Turn. Thank you. Missed. Attacks, I swear. No, I'm dead. I hit B to roll on it, didn't do anything. God, yeah, can I just die? I don't want to do this fight anymore. <laughs> it's very clear that I was not prepared for this fight. Probably should have spent my money. Okay. So I respawn here. I want to try one thing in this uh, fight real quick. I don't know if I can roll behind her or not.
Um, Chris wrote it again. You gotta put down that. I needed to have this on the bar. <laughs> this works. It's really stupid. Uh, but I think I can do this. <laughs> I think my... No, it's, I would have done that had... Um... One, had I realized the candle was out sooner, and two, if I had been able to, like, place the stuff when I wanted to. I mean, there's time when I was trying to do the spell, but I was, like, in the middle of a combo, so it didn't actually work. Yeah, here I'm selected on this, but it's because I'm still in this combo, it's doing that instead. Yeah, and then I just didn't place that down because I got hit and it switched back. She didn't get hit by it. I think if everything is perfectly, this will work. No. I, one, I don't think I'm supposed to be here at all right now. Um, I, I feel like this is one you're probably supposed to have a gun <laughs> or something, um, but with my build, I think I can brute force it. If I, if everything goes perfectly, let's see. Pop you, pop a candle, and just start chopping. That interrupted my bleeding. Controller, <laughs> go. It's fine. I 
She dead. Woo! And stop the bleeding. Stop the bleeding. Let's go! Brute forced it. <laughs> Let's fucking go. The Night Mother's Disciple Book. A book filled with occult writings owned by Laura Craft. Whoa! The Night Mother D Disciple. Crude map of a maze beneath Mostone House is sketched on the last page. The very bottom floor is a circled and a various phrase, a curious phrase is uh, written. O oh, Night Mother, let the moonless, formless pathway open once more. Whoa, number 69. Shoo, 700 health. God damn. 40 gold permanent offering and three candles. That was a climb down button. Ow. Oh, heal immediately. Oh, it's poisoned. Okay. Nice. <laughs> oh, let's go. Nice to see you again. So you took the train as well. I would like to upgrade my current armor. The plus two, thank you. You got anything new to sell? Uh, I could buy the lantern. Familiar, not that I really want it. Candle ring. We got a couple of rings here. Night Mother's ring. Converts 25% of physical damage received to curse damage. Eh. Produce a small amount of light only visible to the wearer. Invaluable for superfluous activities in the dark. 50 inner light, 50 perception, 50 luck. It's not too bad. I mean, yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like the gun's a permanent thing. Oh, well, the gatehouse got real fucked up. Oh shit. Hold on. One, two, three. A, B, C. Nope. Coffin has three locks. Each lock has a cover, uh, has a covering of human skin. Skin covered key. What the hell? Could be something friendly. Could it lock me in here? <laughs> Two. Alright, sacrificum. I mean, it's one, two, three. What would it be? Are any of those letter? Oh, it might be M for Millie's journey. I, I'm really not supposed to be here right now. Might be okay. Let's see, and try to see. This was S, right? Yeah. Okay. Would it be an E for escape? For the old esk. Yep. Exodus. Okay. Not. Oh, it's just not three. Oh, this is three. Okay, it's backwards. <laughs> it's sifsisi. Whoa, skin covered key. I probably have to go kill whatever's in the two cupboards to get the other ones. I'm gonna come back here. 
Uh, <laughs> I, I really don't think I was supposed to fight that boss when I did. That felt super early. So let me progress what I believe to be the no more normal route first, so we can... Well, oh, there's nothing normal about that. Oh, the fire. Oh, you fucking suck. I think he's not even like that dangerous, to be honest. Like his fire hurts, but he's like kind of a pushover. Sickle and a kick. Oh, he he's a little scary. He's a lot scary. Oh. Oh, that's not what. The old shield. You know, I might need to go buy some stuff. <laughs> I might need to do a little crafting, might need to buy some stuff. Okay, I don't have blink scrolls. Blink scrolls would be great. I have 300 coins, so just buy a bunch of these. Buy some health kits. Buy a couple of those. Buy a cake. Huzzah! Reminds me of the mask salesman in Zelda. chair over here to sit in. Get rid of this um, stuff real quick. Oh. <laughs> Ran right by it. Let's do it on the East Star Wall to begin with, so let's go here. I, I've been enjoying it quite a bit. Like, I only got to play a couple hours last night before my internet went out on itself, um, so... Really get into the meat and potatoes today. Mostine House, the once beautiful home with a dark history, will finally serve a noble purpose. This week, restoration work began with the aim to turn the mansion into a recovery home for our wounded boys returning from France. Having served previously as a Clarere clinic and a private asylum, blah blah blah, flavor text. But I think I'm doing pretty well. On chapter three, we only had one actual reset. So. What in the. Okay, we can still go down to the whip. Hmm, interesting. 
Uh, okay, so we can still go down to the labyrinth. Alright, sweet. We're gonna get locked out of this content then. <clears throat> Do they sell anything new? Let's see. Can I still upgrade here too? I okay, yeah, you can still use ancient blood here. Awesome, so we have this and the... to go through. Oh, she left. Oh, I don't want to go out here and have that guy come back, though. I don't think I'm quite ready for the labyrinth. Initiates. Put the fingers. Oh, okay, you're. I probably just gonna take a picture of you. Well, if I need to take a picture, he's probably not in there. <clears throat> Kerblamo! Oh, I think he's still there. Okay, you are not. <laughs> Game, can you swap properly? The Worshipper. Interesting. And I'm poisoned. Just being in this water poisonous? No, whatever he dropped on the floor was. Ah, oh, looks like a witch room. Hello? Witch? Branch, Whoa. Oh, of course, another fire guy. Got the poison. place objects here. I fucking hate the sound. <laughs> Make it stop. Broken shotgun. Okay. Poison. Corpse X. Calm. This 
It's about to get real bad. I can attack through the wall. As long as you strong attacks, I can hit through the wall. <laughs> Ayah! Ayah! Chop down this wall. Awesome. Problems, I need to get rid of my curse damage. Yep, 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 yep. Chris wrote it. Oh yeah, it's like rolled probably. <sighs> uh. You stay alive. You died. Okay. Stay alive though. I'm Chris Rod it. I need to run. I need to live. I need to get out of this water so I can get rid of the corruption. Oh son of a oh I'm so dead. We gotta go back. We gotta go all the way back. does poison but I have curse rot because I have uh, did too many rolls and used too many spells so that skull underneath the health bar all right I mean, at least got the guy dead that's the more important thing Are you going in circles no I'm making it, it's just like a zigzag through I just have to get out of there because I can't put down a candle in in water Not, like I have no other way to heal it. It's just gonna kill me if I don't get out of it. <clears throat> right. 
Let me repair for you. Broken shotgun becomes a new shotgun. Wow. Save the empty shells and bring them back to me. I can craft you. Okay, okay. I find out what, uh, Strength the one of your weapons for your charge. Okay, okay. Can I upgrade my axe? Now, some might say it makes more sense to upgrade the shotgun. But I kind of like my axe. <laughs> and it'll give me more physical damage and more bleed buildup. No, this is a different guy. Two different guys. stuff so cheap. Oh, about paralysis leaves, oh. Eh, it's fine, it's whatever. It's whatever. How much stuff do I have? I have three grease. I need it eight at this point. Eight for a level. Well, I could get six off of that. Less sentinel candles. Um, I haven't seen another use for sentinel candles at the moment, so. Before I spend some there, I might be able to get two levels out of this. Now, level twenty. Woo. So I need nine. I we get three there, get six there, and then six off of that too. Oh wait, no, three off of that. Now we need ten grease, which we could get three. And I haven't found a hunter in this section yet to like just go and buy <laughs> buy limbs from, so that's fine. Um, back to the stairwell. Yes. All right, re-equipped. Uh, all of this is just completely cleared out. We just, uh... Cannot afford to be in a corrupted state any longer.
bloody thread. Nice. I feel like I'm not... Either I'm not losing the poison cure, or it's not... Or it's just giving me poison cure from, like, the next thing I kill every single time. So I've had nine poison cure for a very long time now. Oh, it's Josette. No, not Josette. She's kind of cool. Oh, another messenger from the Wretch King. I'm not leaving. The poorly creatures down here need me. They have sought refuge from the Wretch King in these fetid waters. Can't just erase everything from the dream that he doesn't like. I won't allow it. I am a witch. My name is Josette. You're a witch, aren't you? I can sense it. I know you must play the part of an errand girl to gain his trust. Surely you can appreciate he is a wicked man. See, so I've brought an eviction letter. Is this letter safe for me to open? Nah. I knew there was a trick. Thank you for your honesty. I suppose I want proof of my demise. Ashes, right? Ashes of a witch being slightly cursed are not too dissimilar from spectral remains. Ghosts are pretty rare these days, but there are still a few up in the attic. The attic is a truly cursed place. Something horrible happened up there, but I'm not sure about what. Bring me some spectral remains and I'll put the finishing touches on them to fool the wretch king. And I'd like to reward you for not letting that letter vaporize me. Please have my rotted charm, which offers strong protection from poison. I use it often when traversing the Byzantine labyrinth beneath the mansion. But now I must tend to my flock here in the basement, and I have little need of it. Cool. Is that just like a... Also, I probably don't have an amulet on. I had poison resistance this whole time. Um... Plus 25% max poison tolerance. You know, I'll put on that other amulet for now. Uh, the 35%. Just, uh, while we're running through here. Now we have a functional impl implementation of the farm. There's no longer any need for copy of a Mostine house. Please see that the idols, uh, the idols from each copy are taken to the tower. Or destroy the cable cars and steal the tunnel entrances. Inform me immediately of any issues you encounter. Chess. Necrosis. Union's maximum health is permanently reduced with each point of necrosis. Oh. Terror. The unit is sent to panic running until. Lots of noise. Okay. I hope necrosis is not a thing I have to start dealing with. I tried sneaking on them before. Oh, okay. Suffering from silence. Oh. I can't even hurt it. Woo! I. Do I need a shotgun blast in the face? Also, I should put shotgun on my bar. Not that I really use anything over here anyways, but... <laughs> yeah, 
And it almost put me straight back into the other room. Oh, it is damaged. So maybe I was hurting it, it just didn't show it. Oh, it did. Alright, at least guns kill it. King's Eye, gunpowder, scrap metal. Uh, fire resistance, cure resistance, bleeding resistance, poison resistance. Okay, it's just... <laughs> resistance to the... All status elements. Okay, I actually want the store off so I can use spells. <clears throat> How long does silence last? Not the best. Well, I'm sure it's quick. It's the if I trigger the things on the wall, that means I can't use spells. quiet in here. Warding cupcake. Cupcake baked with the wax from a warding candle. Ugh. 35 physical damage to consumer. Heals 75 points of cursedness. Oh, cool, cool, cool. I like that. One shot left. <gasps> yeah, my spell does actually do damage to it. Okay, I think I just either didn't see the damage before, or... Um... No, that's not what I want to do. God damn it. Just doing curse rot. Body bag, dude. Uh, I need to run. Uh, eat the cupcake. Not safe to consume.
No, this is so bad. This is so bad. This is so bad. No, don't loot. Oh, you fucking stupid NPC of a character. I'm dead. I'm not dead. But I am dead. Dude, the fucking, like, you heal instant curse rot just doesn't make any sense. Why? Why? It doesn't make sense. <laughs> Why is there just constant curse rot? Oh. Oh my god, I'm s so annoyed. Woo! This is so bad. This is just... Wait, isn't that a friend? No, go in there! Okay, yeah, it's the safe, the safe. Whew. Jeez. <laughs> I can take being poisoned. The crazed butcher. Oh, oh, you look like a witch. You need organs, right? I'll get you or- Oh, shit. Come from the farm, not the only- Okay. This is gonna be the hunter here. I wanna make sure I actually use this candle real quick. Eh, that's why I want these. <laughs> Whoo. Oh, he can get cups of blood. Ooh. Half, how many, ooh, how many did I need for that thing? So it wasn't. Uh, I'm not gonna see it. Uh, I'd have to run around. Wish there was a mirror in this room. to know specifically how many things I need. I need it five, okay. So probably five, six, and seven. And I should have some organs left. Writing down my shopping list of <laughs> stuff for the butcher to buy.
I don't know exactly how this game works. I used up... I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I almost certainly used up my... Uh... Brooch? Can I see if my brooch is broken? For this time around? I would assume because I don't see it here, it is broken. We did that during a boss fight, so I wasn't sure if, like... They would let me keep it after the boss fight. I would assume no, and it looks like that's the case, yeah. Okay. Okay, so we want... One heart. We want one fingy. Two livers. A cup of blood. And I don't know exactly how many more cups of blood I need, so we'll just take this. Just a moment. Please buy more. I probably will buy more. Yeah. So we want to buy one of these, two of these, and not one of those. What did I mess up? Oh, did I buy Corrupted Finger? Oh, I meant to buy Human Finger. Mm, okay. Uh, so either I need... I don't know if he sold Human Fingers. Human Finger if they have it. If not, just buy two Corrupted Fingies. Okay. One human, two corrupted. I want to get, I want to start getting some more health. Eight. Okay, we need eight. Eight blood. How much gold? Oh, it's only eight. Okay. Yeah, there's like no money then. <clears throat> cool. Oh, it, okay. Let's do enough back steps until. It's a little bit of a bit of work. It's fine. It's not too much running, honestly. Okay, yeah, I can just buy it. Finger. Is that cheaper? It's actually cheaper to buy two corrupted fingers. Alright, buy two of those. Buy eight of you. We'll probably have enough to come back and buy the final bit of blood too. Okay. I would like two corrupted fingers and eight cups of blood, please. <laughs> what does he sell normally? Shield, shield. 20% melee damage. Forty percent melee damage, but inflicts bleeding buildup on the wearer. Um, my clothing kind of like prevents some bleeding buildup, doesn't it? No, I'm a liar. Uh, I thought I had something. Maybe I my old clothes did. Oh, it has forty percent bleeding. Oh, okay. 20% max health. I just picked this up. Max health and 40% bleeding resistance. I don't think I really want to combine the two, but... Uh, also, I think my rings are pretty decent. I haven't really messed with them too much. Oh, yeah, 40% max bleed tolerance. I knew I had something on for it. I 
have four rings on? Am I blind? It's, oh, this is the fourth one. 30% damage melee attacks from behind. I might drop that one. That one's really good if you have like an armor stand or something, or if you put down a doll, which I never do. Have them fight it, but more often than not, I'm just like in their face. Um. I'll put on a black cross ring. Oh, there's rings down here too. Alright, let's go get some more stuff. I'm getting a whole little recipe on phalangers. Okay, do this. Yeah, so we've maxed out here. Now, now we just level up through the cups. Should be able to get the level we have now with the eight cups and then uh, one more, which is probably ten cups of blood, which I can go back and buy. Twelve cups of blood. Shush. Twelve cups of blood. God damn. Hello, sir. I would like twelve cups of blood, please. I don't know if I can buy twelve. He just has an infinite stock? Cool. Some merchants, like, only have so much stock to their stuff. I, you know? I mean, if you want 12 cups of blood, you can just, like, kill, like, one big thing and you get so much from it, right? Like, one kill and you're getting a bath tub full of blood. On conductive stream overlays? I mean, that's like any game that has a lot of stats and stuff, it, you're gonna cover something up. Unfortunately. Level 25, and that's all maxed out. Yep, okay. So we probably have all the levels we can get for... Chapter 3. I want to go use a strange thread too. Is there a guy over here still? I should have gone to find some merchants to buy stuff from. <gasps> I 
Uh, I should bleed out. Yeah, there we go. Oh, this is still available. Who the hell? Who <laughs> the hell? Hello. Kerbal ammo, you're dead. Give me your stuff. <clears throat> I mean, at this point, I feel like if I die, it's gonna really suck, no matter what the case is. I mean, just having to kill all the enemies again fucking blows. I could upgrade my hat. Or I could upgrade my... I mean, the, the armor upgrade is just, like, so small anyways. It's like, you get a little less physical damage. <laughs> yeah, I can like remember six more objects, but it's like, do I want to remember six more objects? <sighs> I guess I could... Damn. Yeah. I've been running a lot in chapter three. <sighs> you know, I didn't realize until now these actually heal bleeding and poison. <clears throat> like I have poison and healing stuff on their own. I'm just going for pure health at the moment. I'll just buy those. Okay. I don't think I'll buy that again. Uh, you don't have a maximum inventory. There are dangerous times, I like to observe new customers before revealing myself. <gasps> Wait. Grumio is just a puppet. Although I spend so much time alone here, I sometimes talk to him. I am the last witch. <gasps> what? No way. The name is a bit grandiose, but if Samantha gets to the first witch, why can't I be the last? You see, I was the last uh, person, last person to join this royal order of the initiated in 1910 before Mostoin Asylum. Been hiding out here since the wretched king decided to eradicate witches from the dream. My only customers these days are you and the odd member of the Merry Band. Most of the other witches followed Millie on some secret quest, something about finding the last idol before Robert does. Oops, always talking too much. Anyway, if you ever want to talk, I'm here. If you mean, like, into the next thing, you have to find these shrines. Um, which, uh, is there one here? I think there's one. Yeah, you have to find these shrines. And then you have to give them an offering, which is some sort of item you've gotten from killing a boss or something. Um, so you can see remember 13 I thought you just meant the inventory overall. Your, your base inventory is infinite. You can just pick up whatever the fuck you want. But if you die, you only keep the things that are remembered, or say permanent on them. Mm. 
you have medicinal herbs? Does he have the medicinal herbs, the good stuff? Oh, he does. Okay. Huzzah! So we can talk. Uh, last witch. Well, as I said, I was the last witch to be inducted as initiate. How unfortunate, now my body's in a coma somewhere in the real world. Good thing my parents are rich, they can pay to have a doctor about, I'm sure. I'd rise up against the wretch king myself, but I never got all that good at magic. All the best grimoires were locked up or hidden by the time I became a witch. You know, you might search the attic. That's where most of the witches were locked up. There's bound to be a grimoire up there. Oh, I don't want to go to the attic again, dude. That place sucks. It's almost beyond belief how quickly the house went downhill after Margaret fled. Word somehow got around that the girls falling into comas once they visit Mostoyan House. Off went Margaret ba Blackett, and there is nobody to do any maintenance or upkeep on the house. The idol in the real world just watched as Mostoyan... Mostein House grew moldier and dustier, incorporating that decay into the dream. Thankfully, Mostein House is seeing use again for those poor soldiers. If I ever get my hands on a Margaret Blackett. Millie truly outclassed us all, but I wouldn't really call her a leader. She was a bit too mad to be a leader. She could be scary sometimes, fits where she rocked back and forth talking about the Night Mother. For a while, she had us working with Robert Blackett. There were all these tunnels around under the ground going to different iterations of the dream. We had steady work, riding these really modern cable cars back and forth, ferrying bodies in the undead. Never found out uh, what Robert Blackett was doing with all of them. That didn't last though, Millie and Robert had some kind of falling out. Not too long ago, she took the rest of the witches to the last old iteration that's still running. I was to remain behind since I was the worst at spells. I never saw them again. Wretch King declared absolute war on witches after they left. Bing bang bong. You can also pay this guy, uh, Mr. Coffin, to sleep in his coffin and then you restart, but you keep everything. So if you're like low on health and supplies and you don't want to lose everything you have, you can pay him a small fee, whatever it is. What is this currently? I've, I've used them once. Um, yeah. <clears throat> and start over that way. The most part of it's been powering through. Being a real badass. I don't want to go back to the attic. <laughs> Speaking of being a badass, uh, is there a. Come on, buddy. You're gonna go save me from the terribleness of the attic. Maybe. Oh yeah, this guy's in here. Oh, how many candles do I have? I have one candle. Oh, son of a... And the knight's already dead. Oh my god, move. Why can't I move? Dude. Fuck off. Run! I just... Kept hitting the same button, apparently. Well, that went, uh, splendid. <clears throat> Alright, though. <laughs> Suits of armor really suck this late in the game. I know they get, like, more health and damage with increase in spell damage, but you, like... I don't have that kind of spell damage to do anything.
I don't like when enemies just like win the tiebreaker for free every time. Oh, that still hit me. Yeah, there should be another one of these goddamn things in here. Apparently this area is just like... Oh, son of a... Son of a... Ah. This hallway is just completely just... Just completely fucked. You just get instant corruption when you go in there. Maybe I try to make my way through the labyrinth at this point instead. Maybe that's the play. You saw candles? <laughs> Please tell me you sell candles, buddy. I didn't realize I needed some. Oh, you do. Okay. I do not have much money. And we hope to God there's no, like, bridge guardian. I don't know if I need to go out that way anymore. Oh, I forgot about the stupid wall spikes, dude. Silly. I'm just gonna wait. Wait for the bleeding to go down. Give me cups of blood. Don't need those anymore, but cool. Gotta uh, uh, uh. be more careful of looking at the walls, apparently. Labyrinth Jail, that seems like a nice place to go. French pins, permanent light headwear. Okay, I'm gonna use the rest of my enchant spells and I probably won't ever make any more. <laughs> oh, fuck no. <laughs> uh uh. 
Where's, where's my guy? Sometimes I get like a little stuck. Arcane salts permanent upgrade. Pot of blue salts with a strange scent that irritates the nostrils. In a cult wax table, the salts can be rubbed into a grimoire page to permanently strengthen a particular offensive spell. Ooh. I'm gonna upgrade the spell. I love it. The rare error ring. Rare eerie ring, I guess. 74% perception, 6 max paralysis tolerance, 4 speed, 4 curse damage to melee attacks. Interesting. That upgrade's really nice, though. Guess we're going in the labyrinth jail. What could possibly go wrong here? The old sword. 350 durability. My weapon doesn't have durability, right? Okay. Thirteen, I mean. Less bleed building. Half bleed building, essentially, but a lot more damage. Try it out. Ow. Jailkeeper zombie. Wow, how appropriate. Or ancient blood and activate? I mean, I don't have any other use for it, so fuck it. Oh, shit. Uh, I don't have my sword on my bar. Okay, the sword hitting does not make a satisfying sound at all. Get bopped, you bopper. Oh, come on. I was realizing to put this on, though. Guys, fuck off. The Necromancer. Oh. Okay. The rare wrenching ring. Twenty three percent of physical damage to bleeding build up from melee attacks. Max poison tolerance. Three poison packs for melee attacks, plus 16 melee damage, ooh. Maybe better than the other one I put on. What was the other one I put on? Max health and curse.
Does it have uh, base projectile damage and enter light? I don't really use too many projectiles. I want to be the worst. But I lose a lot in physical damage. So if 20, a quarter of my physical damage then goes to bleeding buildup. I mean, bleeding is really nice if it can be bled. Uh... Got a new area to search and crafts. Yes, I would like to upgrade my harvest field spell. So I love this spell, and I think it's really good. Necromancer Helm. Receive one less physical damage, one minus speed. Increases the health of allies such as enchanted armor by 20%. Meh. They already die like instantly, so. What's that draft? Oh, you freed me. Well, I'm perfectly happy where I am. I need to find a different princess to rescue. Okay. Ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da. some more stiff. Should have a lot more gold. Yeah. Bing, 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 bong. Craft more of these spells because I love them. <laughs> the burning protection one also is really good. Um, it just takes blue. Yeah, I mean, that's what I should use with my blue then. Uh... I need to like do some restructuring here. I want to keep playing, but I also realize, like, if I just let myself go, I'm going <laughs> to stream this game for 12 hours and I'm not going to eat and need to work out at some point, take a shower, get some stuff done for the stream. Bedtime? No, no, definitely not bedtime. <laughs> I keep playing a bit more. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. The rare stinging ring converts 17% of physical damage to paralysis buildup for melee attacks, 75% perception, 3 poison buildup to melee attacks, 15% melee damage, max health goes down 28, and they're like, so you get paralysis and poison buildup. Interesting. 
I would essentially lose like thirty health. Um, not just the twenty that takes off. I'd be replacing a health ring. Ten percent max health, so it's even more than that because I have like two hundred health now. So I'd be really losing like forty something. Uh, I don't think it's worth. It. Not currently. That's the big guy. I was like, okay. Um. Ah, uh, he farted on me. through that or not. Dude, the reach... Also, the fact that, like, um... The iframes don't start when you roll. It's like, after you start rolling, it gets me every time. Get on out of here. Rare lucky ring. 45% luck converts the, uh, the poison buildup for melee attacks. 7 max. Nah. And you lose 30% melee damage? Hell no. Golden pentagram. Ooh. 15% max health. 15% max curse tolerance. Um, bleeding poison paralysis. Ooh. What emulator do I have on now? 20% max health. 40% uh, bleeding. Ooh. I don't even have that one equipped right now. Why did that not get equipped? Should have been having max health this entire time. What? So worth losing... Five health for max curse. Uh, uh, not at the moment. I want max health. Rare pure ring. Poison tolerance. Curse damage to melee attacks. 12% uh, of physical damage to poison packs. 15% projectile damage. Nah. Trash. I got a coin purse. Yeah, but that 5% does make a difference. Oh, Market Street. It's not Bridge. Yeah, but not a lot. I mean, I guess it does, that does happen quite a bit. I was like, do I really get, like, blood and poisons a lot? But yeah, I do. <laughs> I do get uh, bleeding and poison quite a bit. Yeah, fuck it. That's cool looking too. I took damage from that? What? Uh, okay, let me... So to me, that looks like something a little spicy. I want to get rid of my curse energy here. Real quick like... Oh, why are you hitting yourself? Because <gasps> I hate myself. Oh, 
Oh, he looks fucking cool. I didn't reload. Oh, oh my god, fuck off. That's curse rot. Oh, I knew he was an asshole. Instantly paralyzed when I go back through the door. Okay, that seems fair. Yeah. <laughs> Let me stand by my little candle for longer. What? That's the stupidest shit I've ever seen. Paralysis jutsu. Get in that door. I'm gonna take you to a different country. Sage armor. Why do they call themselves a merry band anyway? Nothing too merry about those masks. Whoa. Uh, yeah, this is about to break. Coca-Cola spiced. What is Coca-Cola spice? Is it just like spicy Coke? Sounds disgusting. <laughs> Sounds... It's locked. Raspberry spiced flavor? I like raspberry, but... Raspberry spicy Coke? Oh, okay, another one. How did he move so fast? Dude, magic users are so cringe. Magic users are so fucking cringe. Blah 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 Oh hello <laughs> Random ass dude Yeah, I really, really do not want this to reset. <laughs> I really don't want to kill these enemies more than the one time I already have to. What? 
Like this spell would go crazy, right? Stop. Yes, yeah, I'll just let him cook in there. Twin cage. Bound together in a cage for a century after a century. Ooh, that's pretty rough. That is pretty rough. Rare clotted ring. 10% max bleed tolerance, 29 max health, 24 max curse tolerance, 4 curse damage to melee attacks. Negative 36 base projectile damage and minus 1 speed. That's not bad. It's a ring, so I don't really have space for it, but... Pitcher! Got him. A lot of locks broken on these doors. Some more in here. I didn't search this. Okay. Uh, scone. Nice. This really is a labyrinth. Nope. <laughs> um, okay. I mean, it's a boss. Shall we try it, I guess? No, 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 I didn't light the candle. <laughs> okay. Now I can do it. The old king, huh? Whoa! Dude, my archer's just freaking out. Wait a second. If I don't... Okay, it's just gonna continue on its own. Oh, the music cooks so hard. The bleed's cooking. Oh, I need to run. No. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Damn. Just kind of get the, the right stuff down. Okay.
Okay, same game plan as before. Well, that was gonna be a first try. Oh, he's cooking me. Oh, it's just sometimes you combo and you just can't get stuff off. for me. Yeah, I still don't have healing. Ah, GG. Went so much better the first time around. It's also like, I can't dodge an attack when I'm already committed to doing something else. Switch to that? Oh my god, I hate the controller. Just... The whole concept of a controller fucking sucks. I should've played this game on mouse and key. pull me out of it. Heals him too. Ah, uh, fuck me. Uh. Yeah, I just- I can't get in a moment to attack, and I just don't have the heals.
trade? The trade? <laughs> I win those, right? I win trades? I win trades? Oh, I, I killed him. <laughs> I win trades? Trades? And trades? Trades? My head's gone in the mirror. No, I don't win those. Fuck me. I gotta pee. Uh, I need to go buy healing supplies, but the mirror is so far back. Ugh. I mean, I never win trades like that in a game. I was just, I was hoping, I was hoping once his health was down, it just counted as being GG. Uh, I mean, I can beat him, I just don't have enough, like, good healing supplies to do it. Where is this on the map? The old king's room, you say. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. I love how they just instantly dispatch my... my guardian. I thought the others were going to come to play. Did they just die? Oh, they just died on their own. <laughs> That's why they didn't come out to play. They're already dead. Exactly. Oh, I didn't pay attention to the stupid spike wall. Stupid! I hate the spikes in the wall, dude. Like, look what we're doing. What I pick up? Play some sort of ringer amulet. Yep, now I'll never know. Now I'll never know. The old uh, frozen ring. Protect all damage. Blech. Nope, don't care. <laughs> do not care. Do not want. No thank you. Ow. Fuck you. Oh, hello. Is that on me for not looking at the door?
No, I'm bleeding. Labyrinth Knight. The Labyrinth Knight. Whoa. attention to those. Uh, so this is a big dude, right? Yeah, I don't want to go cr across that. Nope. No, thank you. I'm also like half paying attention to like what's actually on my screen. I'm usually like looking at the mini map or glancing at chat for a second. It's not often I'm looking directly at the background of the game. Everyone just kicks to the face. Almost, I don't really know how I can go buy uh, supplies from. I want to go back and buy health kits and stuff, but like, I don't know <laughs> who I can even buy some from. Oh. Rare and Noxious Ring. 25% physical damage to poison buildup. Uh, poison packed on melee attacks, 66 perception, plus three building, bleeding buildup to uh, melee attacks, 31, 31 max health, and base melee damage. Fuck no. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking that's a no. Okay, just the one guy and the one thing to search. Either one of those negatives would already have me say no. The two things I have going for me are health and melee damage. I'm not getting rid of either one. <laughs> mm. I suspect the way to progress further into the labyrinth is killing the king. And you get like a key from him to open the stuff up. the hell was that? You sell anything? This tent doesn't turn me off. I suppose I could, you could be alright. You can call me the filthy wretch. <gasps> oh, is that the name already taken? Hey, hey, hey. Fine, you can call me the fatted hag. So on way down here by those who I thought were my friends. Be careful who you open up to. Rather than try to escape, I decided to make myself comfortable. A true act of defiance. Got some unique things I can sell you. Exclusive hag sacks, for instance. They're full of goodies and soaked in organ grease. Constant sun side will be ready when you need them. It's night or any night. Find something like... Ooh. The Labyrinth Market Key. Okay, well. <laughs> uh, let's see. The permanent prize hag sack, the mystery 
40% chance of receiving 100 coins or 6% chance of receiving a first aid kit. Oh, I want that market key. Um... Is there just a healing one? Or... Healing eye, okay. So 40, we get two first aid kits, two candles, a chocolate cake, hearty roll, bandage, and poison. Uh, I mean, that's not really great. I don't really know what else I can buy. <laughs> Yeah, I have money. Yeah, I mean, I just need some healing in general, so. Maybe thinking the trash is a metaphor for how I feel discarded unwanted. Well, it's nothing so pretentious as all that. The trash is protection. Should my safety spell wane and a rogue undead sneak in, I will go undetected. Sometimes I purposely let them in so I can observe them. They shamble back and forth, moaning in Greek. They are ancient men, living history. I've tried talking to them, but their brains are far too gone. One time I gave one a hug, and there was a glint of recognition for a moment. But then he drew his weapon. If a particularly cute one goes by, maybe he'll become my fetid prince. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. Um. Do you crafts? Harvest field spells. Oh, okay, I need more of those. <laughs> I don't know how much more there's in stock over here. Is the, is the major issue? Okay, there's still some first aid. Oh, so many scrolls. I didn't realize that many. Medicinal herbs. We might need more jars. Cakes are good. Huzzah! Some good healing. I think I'm gonna go back and just try to keep killing the king until I win, and then we'll call it after that. Actually, I have the market key. I can go explore the the market. Let's do that first. Do 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 do. Oh, where am I going? Where's the exit? There's. the finger collector ah welcome i am ira the finger collector i'm in search of a new friend perhaps you'll be my friend or to be friends i must tell you my story i used to have a lot of friends they all had such long pretty fingers smooth and supple put chlora hydrate in their drinks and while they were sleeping i clipped off all their fingers they were quite unhappy when they woke up they shrieked and waved their bloody palms at each other I hid away the fingers in a box, but they still figured out I was the finger stealer. I tell them that it's just a dream, and tomorrow night they'll have all their fingers back. Though the fingers returned, the memories also returned the next night. My friends couldn't forgive me, so they shackled me here. Tell me, knowing my story, will you be my friend? Sure. I mean, you're tied up, so... You want to be friends? That can only mean one thing. You, too, have an interest in... Fingers. Oh, yes, you've collected a few fingers, haven't you? Well, if you ever want to talk about fingers, just let me know. Friend. Since society at large frowns upon my predilections for fingers, for my attention into the next best things. Rings. I collect beautiful rings and just imagine fingers wearing them. Perhaps you found some rings in Labyrinth. 
They have both blessings and curses. I can strengthen the blessings and weaken the curses. There's a price for the service. I only accept bronze fingers. How do you get bronze fingers? Well, you trade me things. Things like rings you don't want. Or other things. You know what I'm talking about. He 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 he. He wants my penis. Uh, I mean. Oh, wow, you can get quite a few bronze fingers for stuff. Yeah, projectile damage. I'm never wearing this. All right. If I have 10 fingies, how much is the upgrade? Oh, it's actually quite a bit. And he only upgrades these rings. Interesting. There was one of these I was curious on. The rare stinging one. It gives me more melee damage, poison buildup on melee attacks, and some physical goes to paralysis. But we lose max health, and that would get rid of some of it. Is there another one I was thinking about? Probably not. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wrenching ring. Converts uh, physical damage to bleeding. Max poison tolerance plus three poison packed and straight up melee. And I lose base projectile damage and inner light. That one's probably the smarter one to go for. Although, I mean, it's one of those, I, I don't know how the system works in this. If I can have multiple status afflictions on a singular weapon, I would imagine I can. Seems like enemies can. Mm. Mm. Okay, well, I need more fingers, anyways. Let's see. Not gonna use that one. Less fire damage. Not gonna use you. Projectile, not gonna use you. Less paralysis build up, don't care. Less poison build up. Uh probably don't care. Uh, shields I definitely don't care about. Let me do the ones that I just definitely do not care about. Plus five speed, who cares? <laughs> uh the cursed rings. No, I'm not going to use these. Okay. <sighs> As it goes to plus one, I imagine I can upgrade something more than once. Oh, did it change where they were? No. Man, the decisions. Do I want more bleed and more poise? Or do I want to add paralysis and poison to the mix? Like pl plus three poison build to melee attacks. Like, how much do you need to actually trigger the poison effect at all? Like, I feel like you need a lot. So you have to do a lot of melee attacks. Yeah, you sell rings to get these brawn fingers from this guy, and then use brawn fingers to upgrade uh, the rings we found in the labyrinth. I'm deciding if I want uh, one of these two rings to upgrade it. I think it makes more sense to upgrade the stuff I already have rather than add paralysis and poison to the mix. As much as I want to. This also gives me poison tolerance, which is honestly really nice. And the melee damage is just more overall. And it's less of a curse, so we'll go for it wrenching. In another lifetime, I go with the uh, rare stinging, but here we'll just do this. All right. You can upgrade it. Again. 
Okay, we can upgrade it. It's plus three the max, because the only thing it upgrades now is the the curse for base projectile per damage. Uh, which, I mean, I guess I should get, because I do sometimes throw projectiles, so on the off chance I do. What a beautiful thing. That's as strong as I can make it without it chattering. All right, cool. Um... What am I taking off? I mean, he's like 5% chance of having damage or doubling damage. Like, uh, doesn't really make sense to run him. Like, what the, the, the one out of 20 time that it does happen, it's really nice. Doubling damage, probably not so much. When you have to damage, it's really nice. Um... Yeah, I'll go ahead and take off doubling damage. So that, that probably won't apply to bleed or anything, so. Do that. Is there a better fourth ring than, um. Max health and bleed resistance? Uh. Chromatic ring on, so I might throw on instead of this half damage one. on from those. Less poison and plus five poison to build. Uh... No, I'm, I'm really, I'm over status effects. <laughs> that shit, mad annoying. Old, okay, another old sword. Interesting. Wasn't expecting to find that kind of uh, room there. I did not even look at what I was <laughs> Really? Mm. This is like the worst place to have this. Oh, he took so much damage. I guess maybe the bleed stuff went through on him. Oh my god. <laughs> he just died of bleed. <laughs> my man died of a heart attack from running too much. Poor guy. Market shop A. Coin purse. How many of those do I have now? Six. That's nice. Poise charm. Come, mm, come. Exactly. Maybe 16 total. Uh, um, I was curious if like, I broke one of these, if it just instantly transferred to the next, or if there'd be a pause and pull out one. Uh, I should have popped the spell before waking him up. That might work. Do some damage. It did break. Okay. I had time to pull out. Okay.
No. Look at that blood at the bottom right. He was cooking. Oh, fucking smoking him. Whoop. Get this way. It seems to be like more instantaneous. It doesn't even think about it. <sighs> Golden armor. Permanent heavy outfits. Sheesh. And a gold helmet. The old king. 800 health. I think the... Um, the night mother or whatever we fought the... The witch lady on the roof had like a like a, a thousand or something. Cool, sixty-seven gold remembrance tier and some blood. Co 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 co. Can I take his throne? <laughs> Bing. Bing. Bong. Eat one of them's, eat one of yours, eat one of yours. Okay. Oh, I need a candle. Did I not pop another candle? Uh, you use the Iron Man if you want to reset the room. the self-destruct method. I guess... Yeah, I mean, I feel like the labyrinth is just completely an optional thing. I was like, ah, you know, maybe there's some quest progression. Well, we got health and supplies out of it, so. <clears throat> we found the ring guy, which is huge, honestly. Like, that really helps out the build quite a bit. Good luck, have fun. Sleepy times. I'm probably out there myself. Well, not sleep, but stream's probably coming to an end here soon. Um, but thanks for hanging out. Sure. How much more of their stuff? Let's at least clear out the labyrinth fully. Let's see. Put the rain on him. Oh, the traps in the wall. <laughs> I hate it. Oh, bloody thread for another upgrade on the armor. 
Because the rings can only go up to three, which kind of makes sense. I wonder if the other stuff can go beyond three. Old flowing ring, plus four max paralysis. Plus one poison buildup. Oh, fuck no. <laughs> yeah, there might, might be some more rings to find for upgrading, but... Ow. He got the bleeding, he's gonna probably just bleed out. The old burning ring, plus three fire damage to melee attacks, plus two speed, inflicts one curse damage to wear every two seconds. I'd imagine you just get more fire damage and uh, the curse is a longer cooldown. Ow. Uh, I think everything down here is this way. Oh, right. Um, I have a grenade, right? <clears throat> oh, I got fireworks too? Okay. I think he just died. <laughs> oh, he just pushed me out? Okay. <laughs> Let's pop that, get some healing going. Curse rot. Well, oh, <laughs> this got super sketchy. Let him heal me. 
No, buddy, you can't leave. What are you doing? Am I supposed to be able to aim this? objects here. What? Really? Uh, subterranean grove. I don't like that at all. Apologize for my English. It is unpracticed. To have made it this deep, you must be very skilled. I have grown feeble over these many years. Please, if you have any ancient blood, I can help. Or just please with your body. If you do not like the choices you made in strengthening it, you can carve the flesh from you. You can be made anew in whatever form you choose. You can be reborn. I've slain the old king. I am glad for a time we were close. He wanted to fight an equal. You made him happy. I will reduce my fee. Oh. Shit. Twenty ancient blood to like respect? And that's a reduced fee? Holy. I mean the only thing I would potentially change is not putting the spell damage in at all. I mean it's fine. I guess, um... You know, for the sake of it, fuck it. For the sake of experiencing everything the game has, I'll respect. You have to do this each- oh my god. <laughs> I mean, at least you can like spam through this part. Um, yeah, so you have to do that though. Yeah, it's, they also made it so you can't like take all of your early levels and put them into stuff like magic or and like the melee and stuff. Um, get at least 150. Five into here. So that was level 25, so let's do some curse tolerance. Um let's do two there. I'm pretty much just taking away spell damage. Mm. Which I love my spell, but most of that doesn't really like come from spell damage itself, it like already does very little. Mm. Alright, no more flesh. Medusa head, oh. Received 75% less paralysis build up. I feel like it should do paralysis build up by just wearing it. Feels a little... Oh, uh, well, not great. I think I was born almost a thousand years ago. I don't remember much, not even my real name. I use the name Irene now, like the first Empress of Byzant Byzantium. Passed my time in this garden reading. It's very quiet here, but the poison smell can be strong. 
You're not the first girl from Wales to come see me. I already learned the old English from books. So has that brought me books on modern English? I feel bad for being useless to her. My memory's bad. I'm less useful than even a single scroll. I know little of the labyrinth, even though I have lived here for so long. Josette tells me it is an imaginary city. The great idol has shown many rooms from the real world, also many slaves in costumes, and many strong warriors. The emperors and their friends would play here. Maybe I was once a doll for them to play with. There's one place you should avoid. In the poison pits, there's a shrine to the Night Mother. It is an evil place. Interesting. What the fuck? <laughs> uh... Not the kicks. Okay, this is way less scary than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, it threw up on me. What the fuck? Give it bleed build up. Oh, it is frozen in place. <laughs> Whoa. The lost horse. Two corrupted livers and some gold. Uh, well, I've never played Bloodborne, so I couldn't tell you. I would say it's a horror, roguelite, souls like kind of adventure, but. As far as comparing it to other games, uh, couldn't it? Not really do much more than that. Oh, oh, not that, not this guy. Do I have, oh, I need to go, hold on. He's gonna come through. It's Souls-like in terms of, like, combat stuff. But it's not Souls-like in terms of, like, progression. In terms of overall progression, it's very roguelite. In terms of items, but in terms of combat, it's souls like. Uh, I need to. Okay, I can only make two of those. Oh, there's two of them. Perfect. Uh, Wobblap! 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 Yo, Quasar, what's up? Uh, how much did I play yesterday? I only played like two hours. Um, cause my internet fucked me. <laughs> my ISP is doing network upgrades in my area and they've been doing it for like a month. It seems like. So it just in intermittently goes out. Um, so I've played like about ten, give or take. You're asking too much? Nah. Nah, nah, nah. The bottom of the Byzantine labyrinth where the effluent contamination is at its peak, where there is a curious chamber filled with statues and mirrors. The statues depict a motherly figure with a horse face. Evidently called the Iron God, she had a, de a devoted ancient cult who believed the dream was the next world prepared for her children. Purposely severed all connections to their former lives and devoted themselves entirely to finding ways to expand the dream. The mirrors, marble, ovals on a pedestal have been moved with a great effort from the labyrinth to house for further study and secured with organ grease. Oh my god, there's more of them. Why are there, why are there always more of them? Whoa, blah. This guy, is he immune to bleeding? Oh, he's not immune to boys, so... Get fucked. <laughs> person who had to play through in two hours. Well, this game was also in early access, so maybe whatever playthrough you saw was an earlier version of the game. <laughs> if it was a more recent one, then yeah, it was probably just a speedrun. Mm. 
You're not getting through this game in two hours casually. <laughs> uh... Oh, this is um. I guess I don't really have a reason to hoard those. I don't really have a reason to do anything I'm doing. <laughs> Waiting on my course to go down. Follow me, buddy. This guy's gonna die in like one second. Oh, I didn't peek. Oh. Uh, lab ooh, do I want to keep going this way? <laughs> the answer is no. The answer is no, I do not. Um, don't have a poison resistance. Oh, that's got poison resistance. Okay. Actually, not scary at all. Night Mother Temple. I feel like I really don't want to be here. Or at least a candle. Mm, there's no candle, so it's probably not a boss. Okay. <sighs> Phrase, O disciple, speak the words, is carved into the mirror's frame. Oh, yeah, I have the book. Well. Teleportation Jutsu. The examination room. What in the hell? Okay, we got a mirror. That's great. There's disciples' path. Oh, disciple, leap into the path. A shepherd must carefully observe the sheep, lest he forget how many remain outside the pen. One, the night mother speaks to many, but only a few will follow. Shun those who ignored her message. Pursue those she did not speak to. There's also a candle over here, which is terrifying to me. Oh. Cholera patient head. <laughs> Severed zombie head filled to the brim with poisonous sludge can be squeezed to eject the liquid as a projectile the cost of slightly poisoning the squeezer. <laughs> it's one neck of an item. Um, I mean, this only applies to this singular room, right? I can't even light the candle. Yes, get me out of here. <laughs> Where's that on the map? Okay. So there was a reason that was on the quest, right? Night Mother Disciples book, yeah. You have to go down into Labyrinth for that, so it actually is part of the quest, not completely optional. Uh, I'm, I need another supplier. <laughs> Hello, have you restocked yet? Oh, you yeah, have restocked. That's nice. You got more first aid. Oh my god, I love you. 
Not buy another one of those, damn. Interesting, so I could, I not now, it's not useful for me now, but I could have bought more, I, mean, I could buy rings and then go and trade them to the guy for the, for the fingers. Um, He scurred me. Let's see. What was in the far right? Oh, it's just the blood offering. Yeah, this thing. TLDR. Um, essentially, we are in a dream world that if you die, resets every night. And we're just trying to figure out what the way to shut down the dream is, essentially. More or less. But for the actual game itself, it's a semi-roguelite, semi-souls-like 2D horror experience. <clears throat> sort of dealio. There's not an altar in here, is there? For remembrance? Because I, I do need to change some things. I've swapped out my rings. Oh, okay. Let me just get rid of all of this and I can re redo. Okay. Most of the stuff saved, so that ring. Let me get all my rings. No, honestly, I don't. Oh, I use the chromatic ring. Yeah, those are the four. Okay. I still have that. That's not a, that's a temporary thing? Interesting. I feel like the game wants me to remember more stuff than I actually care to even, like, remember, but I also, like, am not... Not dying to, like, have to... Warp it back around. I don't have the photo guy to sell stuff to. Let's just put him in here. Fuck it. Make it look a little bit more lively. It is kind of weird that like this is a thing, so you inspect this mirror, you can see like, I guess the stuff you have on and your build stats, but like you can just go into your inventory and see your stats at any given time. Damn, my kill, my kill death ratio is crazy. 210 kills, one death. Items found 3,500. 
Mm. Time spent hiding in general out of eight hours is four minutes. Standard difficulty? Oh man. I couldn't imagine playing this on a hard mode. <laughs> I mean, the cool thing about this, right, kind of like any Souls like, is I'm, I am i haven't watched anyone else play it other than like two, two minutes to see what type of game it was when I first heard about it. So I don't even know what other type of builds people are trying to use and like the meta builds and stuff. If I go and watch someone else play, they're going to be not doing the exact bleed poise damage thing I'm doing. Like someone might be using a shield or they might be using projectiles or guns or like really in the spells or something. So I, I'm never going to use a shield. I just, I realize that I'm not <laughs> ever going to use one of these and maybe that's a good way to go, you know? Um, so many different weapons too. That is the cool part about it. But I do think I'm going to stop there for tonight. Good eight hours of streaming. Um, we made a lot of progress tonight. 